Yo, Michael, Cooksey. Yo, 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 yo. What's up? Yo, SPS Serpent, what is going on? Oh, you know, I, I was actually uh, wondering about your channel. I actually looked it up the other day. I'm like, oh, yeah, he hasn't made a video in a while, has he? Glad, glad you can make it here, though, at least. Should be a good day for streams. Yo, Tupac, what's up? Not something I say very often. Good luck to all participating. I was a master of the winter final, so I can participate. Oh, no problem. Well, if this if this goes well, uh, you know, it's my first time holding tournaments, so it might be a crapshoot. But, you know, if it goes well and people enjoy I might host uh, some further ones. So I go live a little early just so I have enough time to set everything up. A Yata lives. Oh yeah, it, it'll all be around to watch. Um, yo, so what's up? Just smash that like button. Maybe even donate if you want. Help cover the funds for the Yata prize. <laughs> um, the the delay is not as ultra low latency as it usually is, so uh, I apologize if I'm a little behind on certain things. Um. Yes, I will be post. I will be making a video covering the form, uh, the event. I don't know when that will be. Probably, you know, uh, probably sometime next month. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> Some guy cheesed me a win. Uh, the cauldron of the uh, the poison of the old man. I think that's the card you're thinking of. I think we're, at this current time we have 11 people. Oh, Cauldron is a cracked spin-off. Oh. Oh, I think I I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm doing everything manually by the way, so might be a little sidetracked while I'm setting this gobbledygook up. A uh, few also feel f uh feel free to share the link of this this around to people if you want to check it out. Thank you. It's it's harder than it probably needs to be just because this is my first one, <laughs> but I, I I appreciate it. Yeah, definitely join the the next one whenever that is. I can't say when that will be. You know, I don't plan on doing this like monthly because I like I like the more premium feel of it. Um, this so this is just for the tournament, but um, this previous Thursday, so two days ago, I did stream. A bunch of matches with uh, YGO from Zero and I. So that's kind of like the feature stuff. We did a bunch of different decks. And, uh, you know, had a nice showcase of the format from both meta decks and just fun stuff. Mostly fun stuff, but... I'm, I'm just entering each of the uh, duelists individually here. And challenge, or however you pronounce it. Yo, IGO from Zero, what's up?
Oh, uh, B socks. I'm I'm gonna message you something real quick. Deal with it. What's up? Yada hype. When will the brackets be released? Uh, what is your username? I, I can't particularly read that language, um, but I am currently working on the bracket. The best of my ability, anyway. Oh yeah, six pack of beer. Hell yeah, I don't drink beer often, but I I am a fan of uh, Guinness. That's probably that's probably my my go to. I would I would say. Uh, this will be double elimination. Okay, I have shuffled the thing. Oh no, I need a I need to change this. Ah. Double elimination. Yes, save changes. Bear with me, everyone. bouncing around like a bunch of things right now. Let's start the tournament. Shall we? All right, have 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 fun, Michael. So this is the current bracket. Hate juggling like a million things around. So it's doubles. There will be by this is just I, I did random shuffle. This is how uh this did all this. Okay, I'm gonna put Discord up here on my third monitor up here. 
which by the way my patreon allowed me to afford an extra monitor so thank you for that can i can i zoom in on this so we have a lot of cool matches we have a few buys uh the main thing is though we got uh causation 92 versus aratos dk0 versus alifia 2 uh, GMYFS versus B Sox and Alon versus Sleety Diamond to start off. Very exciting on Yada Lives. Yeah, shout out to all my Patreon folk. I think since uh, looks like first people are host is going to be Alifia. So let's let's go towards that. Probably right here. Boom. I'm pretty excited. Like I got the floral the floral blazer out today. I don't this is like a very special occasion blazer, my lucky floral blazer. I like my floral stuff. So Leafy is gonna start with the pot of greed. Um the Delinku Duo. Sorry, I'm just typing in Discord here. What a start. Tell me about it. We got two power cards. Here we go. Discarding Zombira the Dark and the Gemini Elf. And then it looks like Aletha will drop a Gemini Elf down himself and pass the turn. A dark hole. A one for one. All right. That's, I mean, it's better than... Not, I suppose, Gear Freed. Okay. Seeing Gear Freed. I don't remember everyone's decks off the top of my hand. I did check them beforehand to make sure they're all legal. And for the most part, it all worked out. We'll ring at Destruction popping, just saying, hey, if I'm taking 18, you're going to take 18. This is our Gear Freed. Set card and Mirage of Nightmare. DK0 will get four draws if this gets through. And it looks like it does. One, two, three, four. Cinco de Cuatro. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, the King Tiger. I do like King Tiger. I have seen Alifia's deck. And uh, for those who know, he's a very spicy duelist. And uh, it's a very spicy deck, I'll say. So King Tiger direct in for 17. This card's dangerous. So as you can see, its effect is that it basically gets rid of any any weak monsters. And this is very powerful against stuff like Recruiters, like Mystic Tomato, or other similar weak but still powerful effects like Don Zalug. It's like Mirage will get through, but he does have to discard. Doesn't sound like he has an MST. Discards Dust Tornado, Blast with Chain, Confiscation, and Delinquent Duo. Two hand rips, two treasures. And just going to set and let it go. That's good. Just continue drawing for Mirage Nightmare. This is the drawback with Mirage of Nightmare. Is that if you don't have that MST, you can just be drawing, but you can just be keep discarding. Which it it sort of mitigates the downside or the the positivity for it, uh, especially since that the discard is random. I mean, could you imagine if discard let you pick the cards? I mean, that's that's pretty wild. I think. Ooh, then he calls the call of the haunted. Bring back the gear free, which call does not equip, which is. Really important to distinguish that compared to Premature Burial. History YGO, what's up? Is emergency provisions in the meta? I do not believe... So I'm trying to remember what set EPROV is. It might be. But I think, I think it's Invasion of Chaos. But 
Well, if it's okay, if it's LOD, then it's it's you can play it. I want to say it's it's a meta card, but it looks like Alifia is going to Gemini Elf with the call. With the blast with chain. This card's kind of cool because it'll automatically destroy itself when equipped to gear free, letting you pop a card, not just a monster, like any card. It's essentially it's like a an on field Raigeki break in a way. I think pop for damage calc. All right. Now we'll send Gemini Elf straight back where it came from. Leafia will set. And pass the turn, it looks like. There's the MST popping Mirage of Nightmare. Yeah, feel free to call in here. The Dweller Sleeves. Yeah, Dweller Sleeves and the Winged Karibo. A gear free will take care of a tiger, unless that back row is something dangerous. That extra 100 attack points. 18 is dangerous. Ooh, but a blast with chain. See, you could equip it to gear free to pop a card that way, or you can just equip it to tiger to get that 500 attack boost, because it does do that. You can just use it as an equip card. But a reinforcement of the army will let DK0 select something from the deck, a level 4 or lower warrior monster, which could be a variety of things depending on what his build is. Hello, hello. Is this history of YGO? Uh, let's. Hmm. But uh, I I hear you. I'm. For some reason my uh, desktop. I'm not getting any desktop audio, which is. I might. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. So prior does work in this format. We have prior for quite a long time um, from this point. Got the Harpy's Feather Duster. Yeah, I'm not seeing audio on on your end. Let me let me see if I can figure this out. I I think I think it's a Discord. You're not Discord. I think I think it is a Streamlabs thing. Yeah, let's try that. Because I didn't have any issues on Thursday when B-Sox was in the stream, which is odd. Okay, testing. There we go. Weird. Yep. Okay. Let's see, uh, SPS Serpent saying... He says, Wangu checks on summon. All right. Now that that's solved. Hello, everyone. Well, it's for me, to, but welcome to Yada Lives, I guess. 11 people have joined this tournament. Yep. This is um, History of YGO1, the mod in the chat. Also, my uh, OCG helper. <laughs> They're both at very low life points, 50, uh, 550 and 800. 
Both are related. Yeah, we got a good turnout today. 11 people. I think just like two days ago, we're at one, maybe two people. And it just, you know, like, like I say, I wasn't freaking out about it. I, I figured give people, you know, within like 24 hours to really jump up. And we even got some like within the last hour. Ooh, a nobleman of cross out. And that's game one to Alethea. Pulling out with that nobleman of cross out to just get rid of that face down monster. No problem. Well, there are three other games going on at the same time. Two of them are other than this one are also in game two. Yeah, people are moving, and um, just for the record, for everyone wondering, there is no time rounds for this. It'd just be easier with without them, just given the uh, the amount of people and new players and everything. I, you know, I've, there's some people here that are more experienced than others in the format. I could switch to one of them. Potentially, what does what does Chad think? Should we should we stick to to a match or should we? kind of bounce around. I feel like we should stick with with the match, but I'm I'm open to the okay, then. the court. Unless there's like a I'll really spicy you... duel going on. I'll keep you updated. So the progress of the other matches. Well, let's well let's let's bounce. Let's who who does people want to see? Let's see. Let's check out what a Rados is up to against Causation Yugi King. So we got Spirit Reaper, Raigeki Break. See, currently a Rados is up one. Very uh, standard builds at the moment. Can't really uh, see much spice. Ooh, I see an uh oh from Causation ninety two. Took his Spirit Reaper. Yada and the Gemini Elf. It's possible he might have just taken hand control. Well, glad you can make it, SPS Servant. The the stream will be, you know, around. And, uh, you know, I will make a video kind of going over all the decks anyway. So even if we don't see all the duels in their entirety, at least we'll see the, the full decks eventually. Graceful Charity. Yeah, despite the Spirit Reaper, Eratos is pretty down right now. Not in life points, but in cards. Basically, that Reaper yeah. can be removed at any time. Yeah, you just need to target it. Discarding Ooh, an I -O. Imperial Order. And one else. Right, Geki break. All right. Means there must be another way of removing that Reaper. Possibly, or you can use Gemini Elf as just a wall and just get that nice succulent sixteen hundred points of damage in. I'm gonna change a heart. That that'll deal with it. Yes. Let's see. John Elf will poke in with its alternating attacks. Set one. Laura and Kachuda. Yes. So Rados will draw a card as per draw phase rules. <laughs> it's like set playing the defensive game. Will causation be able to keep up the offensive pressure? We'll see Ooh. with this attack. GMYFS and B socks are on spicy things. Ooh, fiber jar. That's going to reset yeah. everything. Thankfully, in Dueling Book, uh, semi recently, fiber jar has its own functionality where it will reset everything itself, which is great. Its own little macro. It's it's Basically, so nice understanding that while this simulates a card game, this isn't the actual card game. So mm -hmm. some things you have to have allowances for. 
so they're less annoying. Exactly. I, I love all these macros and little things that Dueling Book has been implementing in their, their software. It's been absolutely this great for the game. Even something as simple as being able to manually change stats. Love it. And Fiber Draw, like that's that's yeah. a big one, I, I feel like, of all things they could possibly do, at least for retro formats. It's, yeah, it's probably the big thing that needed to be fixed to make these more accessible. Ooh, or at heartbeats. least from Fiber Format on. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because Fiber Jar is around for a bit. Yep, Fiber Jar is legal here, Tupac. Ooh, Harpy's Pretty strong card. And a Dark Hole just getting ripped. It is a Sangan. So we will get the search, which is a great in a in a post fiber jar environment because that just gets you an extra uh, sort of replacement card at least, but at least you get to pick what it is. Yeah. What will it be? Yeah, with nothing on the field, it's kind of hard to gauge what you want, but I suppose tomato is a better choice than any. Especially against a, a sand game, just kind of poke in with its... Eight claws of doom. <laughs> Wish I could enter, man. It, it's Joey's card. I mean, or I would play a Joey deck here. Yeah, you, you could totally play a Joey deck in this format. I mean, there are clear missing cards, right? You know, we don't have Kunai with Chain for quite a while. But, hey, Structure Deck or Starter Deck Joey is around. And a TT... It's a very good TT. Gets rid of a tomato, which yeah. best way to remove it is by card effect, and your sand game, which gets you a search. Azaretos will normal summon the Witch of the Black Forest. Oh. Gets I... through. Yeah, Gear Free is the best Joey of deck spice here. spice in this tournament. Yeah, if you want to play like a Joey deck, I think Yada Format is for you because Gear Free it is definitely a top tier deck. Pretty easily, Blast with Chain is basically upgraded Kunai with Chain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Blast with Chain. Yeah, is you don't great. force the monster to defense, but you don't have to. Yeah, and monsters a... mm -hmm. in two thousand and three in the TCG and like two thousand one in the OCG are basically big enough that. It doesn't matter. You're no longer worrying about tribute summons except for Jinzo. Yeah, and Jinzo I, neutralizes mm. Blast with Chain anyway. Yeah, I was I was doing some test duels with one of the contestants a little bit earlier. And ooh, a forced TT there for the Yada. And it was a uh, I was playing a gear free deck and it was a gear free mirror match. And I tell you when they, when they got Jinzo out, it was kind of struggling to get into that exiled force or something. Yeah, there are other chippy monsters. Don't get me wrong, like Hades mm -hmm. and Arshath, but Jinzo's the big one that still looms over the format. It's not like it's not until like the next format after this where Jinzo starts to dip further Dude. instead of this. <coughs> Excuse me, I need to climb. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like about this. Like, obviously, like yeah, Jinzo is definitely the top tier of the tributes, but you do have options. I mean, you can even run Summon Skull if you want that little extra firepower against Jinzo or something like Lesser Fiend if you're playing a, a Necrofear deck. It's not as common to see a uh, ton of tributes, and usually if you do in this format, it's it's a reasoning-based deck. Pop in the Tomato with the right Geki Break, sending the Exiled Force... Radius will set and pass. Very simplified game state here for, for the most part. Ooh, end phase call of the haunt for the Jinzo classic combination. The call of the Jinzo here. And an exile force wanting to wrap things up. And Aratos wins the match. Booyakasha. Get the replay. Yeah, unfortunately, missed it. Dang it. I'm watching other stuff. I right, see you later, Soul. All right, who do you want to 
check out next is is a uh, Leafia still? Looks like they are still in their match against DK Zero. Ooh, a flash Everyone assailant! Is... Wow. What? Haven't seen this guy in a uh, a few formats. And a snatch is steal. If that's not a monster in hand, he can set it and flash assailant will be at full attack. Yeah, that that guy can he he loses attack, but yeah, if you have a an empty hand, two K two K is nothing to laugh at. And just, forcing not yep. forcing the Book of Moon guarantees it's cleared. Yeah, you gotta do Gemini what you gotta Elf do. is kind of defensively pathetic. Yeah, we see some honesty. spies in DK Zero's grave. We're definitely oh, seeing the spice. There's the replay. Tournament report. It's in the Discord. Excellent. Mind if I posted it on the chat? Yeah, yeah. Do what you need to do. That's why you're a mod. <laughs> well, there's the replay for Ooh. everyone who isn't in the Discord right now. A hefty Ooh. mirror force. But the army just keeps coming down. Another Gemini Elf. Gemini Elf is pretty solid in this format, too. Because it's, even though yeah. I wouldn't say it's, it's a beater format, just having something that can punch over some popular cards like Gear Freed or King Tiger can definitely be yeah. a useful tool, especially coming from an earlier Android format. It's the first. Uh, I wouldn't say non beta format, but it's the first format where you can't just assemble all of the best cards and you either have the best deck or a top three deck. You have to actually think about what you're doing in more detail. Yeah, that's why I really uh, enjoy about Yada format is that there's so many different decks that play different styles and they're all is doable and it looks like uh, yeah. Sox lost to gmyfs Ooh, a flash assailant coming down 2k attack that will beat over a gear free and back row does not protect it Set and pass. You should update the bracket. Yeah, I'm looking for the link here. Uh, I have like three different I like just... Chrome tabs open. <laughs> huh. With Zombira and a Flash. Zombira can't attack directly, but Flash Assailant certainly can. And you won't lose attack unless you have cards in hand. It's like one of those little things. Yeah, plus the blast with chain giving it an extra attack. Yep. A lot of spice in this tourney. Let's see, what else? Oh. Elan and Steely Diamond have also finished up. Uh, who won? No idea. A lot of spice, a lot of spice. Uh, oh, Sleety lost. So Elan has moved on. Against Colgate. Oh, uh, yeah. Round one is now in the books. Looks like Alifia DK zero still at it. Goes after that Nilhar, which is a confiscation.
So it's like the Sox lost 2 0, it looks like. Yes. We could look at the replays himself and see the end right. results because that's like GG's. Alifia wins the match. Moves on to round three. 2 0. Technically the quarterfinals, but yeah. Yeah. Alifia gets to sit around and watch everyone else. Try to push forward. This is very true, very true. Okay, let's see. It's like Sleepy Diamond lost. Looks like. Yes. Is there a quick way to find out like the match <laughs> win loss? Or do I just have to Click. Like, speed through? Click next duel. If you can't go through next duel, just Click. assume it went 2 0 and watch the end. Or just goes 2 0. Yeah, it's not giving me a next duel option. Yeah, so whoever won duel one probably won 2 0. Flash heads are winning. Well, Sleety Diamond loss. I think, right? Ah, Lo a loser's round one match has been decided. E DK Zero will be facing B Sox. Ooh. Did the Aredos duel end? No, it's at 1 0 in favor of Aretos. Okay, right let's, now. let's jump back into that then at the meantime while I figure this out. <laughs> a cold wave in the grave. Okay. Yeah, icy stuff. Someone else was playing Cold Wave too. Yeah, Sleety Loss. Okay, cool. Word. Painful choice. I'm trying to see what. So this is uh let's go to the current bracket real quick. This is currently what we have. Brackets also available on my Discord for anyone who wants to kind of look at that more in depth. Painful, painful choice sending Comfy, Forceful Sentry, reinforcements of the army. Change of Heart and Dark Ruler Hot Deaths. Mm. Interesting we cards. Either change, depending on the set, either change or Rota is coming. Ch Basically, this is a real painful choice. The first two cards don't matter. They're mm -hmm. Eratos is probably not letting Soul look at his hand. It picks the but then Rota. you have Rhoda, which can get Exiled Force. Change of Heart, which steals the monster. And he chose Rhoda. So he's decided to be punished by Exile. Be hurt by Exiled Force instead. Yeah. Just saying, if you're going to get a monster, just get the monster. A Pot Ooh, of Greed, Pot Hefty of Hand. And there's the Rhoda, making sure that Pot of Greed doesn't get him to what he wants firsthand. He searches the Exile, <laughs> which can priority pop if he decides to do so. Or he could save it, or he could attack, but it looks like he's going to do the norm and pop that Mystic Tomato. That's a, that's a good hit. And then he yeah. can promptly banish it with the Kaiku effect. Which, by with the way, the... if anyone's interesting, uh, interested, the uh, Kaiku in, in this format can only banish monsters. For those who are wondering, the TCG printed Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, Bazoo the Soul Eater, and Skull Lair. To allow them to banish anything. To either fulfill their effects or, as Kaiku does, just remove them from the game entirely. Yes, and the Yada format follows the 2003 World Championships, which 
fix some of the uh, original English printings. Ooh, MST, ensuring Ooh, that Graceful MST? goes through. Sending the comfy and the painful choice. And then using a, a hand rip that he did save in the forceful century. Possibly sending Sangan, Ring of Destruction, or Cold Wave back to the deck. By the way, if anyone's uh, enjoying this tournament, you know, feel free to drop a like or, you know, uh, keep some conversations going. And if the, if you want to see a possible future tournament on this channel, possibly another cool themed something down the line. Maybe it might be a seasonal thing, perhaps. Maybe we'll have one in the summer. That could be fun. A summer extravaganza. He sands the Sangan hey. back to the deck. Reborn exiled. Soul is thinking. He's thinking about something here. He will pop. Or. DK Zero has defeated B Sock for game one. Oh, for game one. Okay. And so now B Sox is one. Duel away from elimination. All right. Might have to jump. That's the thing about yeah. double elimination. Yeah. You basically get two chances. Yeah, because originally this was single, but enough people were talking about it, and I thought it made more sense to do do double. Mm. Which single is fine yeah, for a small, small tournament, like seven, eight mm -hmm. people. Uh, yeah, and, and it's hard to tell uh, how many people were going to join this. You know, this is uh, my first tournament I'm, I'm hosting here. So, you know, it could have been three people. It could have been 16. I, I had no idea. I'm, I'm happy with the amount that that showed up, though. I'm, I almost want to go to B-Sox game in case he gets eliminated, but... We're we're hard pressing this game right now. A lot of green graveyard in Arados. Same thing in Soul. I'm keeping track of everything right now. And so I'm not in the room with you. Right. And again, uh anyone who's who's watching this live uh, on my Discord, there will be all the, the replays posted. So if there are certain duelists that you would like to check out, their specific duels, they all the duels will be available. And Jinzo coming out, turning off those traps. It's always worse when you see a Jinzo. You're like, ah, crap, I wasn't expecting it. There goes all my traps I was trying to save to protect myself. One hit away, basically, from a Jinzo. Eratos needs a monster or an MST. Yeah, we've seen just all the spell cards he's been using. The only monster we've seen from him thus far has been Tomato. So they got to be somewhere in his deck. Needs to keep one card from the Mirage. Looks like he's not going to destroy it. Keep the card closest to the extra deck. Discard Sangan, <laughs> Tomato, New Doria, Duo. Ooh, that's a lot of monsters you're discarding. A lot of ones that could potentially keep you in the game. Or a but little he, longer. But he kept the Snatch that, Steel. Oh. That's, that's a good keep. So traps are still off, but steal a monster and get rid of a Kaiku. Very basically dangerous. at this point, MS spell trap removal basically wins the game. It do doesn't he, he doesn't have to MST the Mirage, just MST the snatch steal and push. Right. Or you could use a dark hole. I mean that, that gets rid of the Jinzo. It's like, his own Jinzo, though. Yes. There it is. 
Basically, that means he didn't have an answer. Does not quite seem like it. Michael says, Arados is crazy good. Don't feel bad for losing now. Well, hey, the game, game's not over yet. Anything can still happen. And Arados is up one game. It's currently yeah. one Arados, zero soul. The power of Mirage. Once MST gets used, look at all the card advantage he now has. Yeah, this card's Bazoo, Serpent, Reaper, and Jinza. Just discarding all the monsters off of Mirage. You can't just it's take a, advantage. It's essentially a random, painful choice in a way. But he keeps a monster and decides to set whatever that monster is. And he passes it off to Soul. Uh, Colgate MST. has defeated Rubber for Duel 1. They're now in Duel 2. All right. Duel's getting along. As we see, Alethea is checking out the competition in this Areto Soul Duel. Two skilled duelists going at it. The winner is his opponent. So not a surprise. Yeah, not surprised at all. Doing some scouting here. Yo, Daniel Karag Karagic, what's up? Let's get it. Yeah, welcome back to the stream. Well, you know, Janjo live stream in particular. <laughs> if you like the layout I created for this, it is a very special Yada tor tournament layout for this stream. Decided to make it a little special. Uranus is thinking what to do. He is down life points, but he's certainly not out of the game yet. There's certainly ways to make a comeback, and it's been a very back-and-forth game so far. That Jinzo is always a trouble to take care of, but it's not impossible to take care of. There are a lot of options to do in a variety of decks, which, which is nice this, in, in a format. Especially in this format, I Basically, you just get more and more over time. Yeah, I can't think of if this format really has a singular boss monster. Not really. Like, Goat Control can basically run Parshath, Jinzo, and Hades, though not necessarily all three at once. Mm -hmm. Bob, what's up? Yeah. Very good. Yada Pilled Bird Maxing. Oh, it's exiled horse. Skip your draw phase. <laughs> okay, exiled attack. It sounds <laughs> like he just wants to get some damage in, if I if I had to guess. Ooh, B Sox to... has one duel too. Now both duelists are on the verge of elimination. Ooh. On the razor's edge down in the copy a uh, term out of JDZ's book, uh, Dogtown. Doesn't seem like Soul really has anything at the moment, or at least he's saving for something. As Rados continues his turn, contemplating what to do. Ooh, it summons a Spirit Reaper. That can possibly rip the last card out of Soul's hand if this attack gets through, and it looks like it does. Discarding a, ooh, a Last Will. Before punching him with Exiled Force and passing his turn. Just putting the pressure on now. Yeah, Soul set, sets and pass. If you have a backer, you basically have to set it, because otherwise Reaper could have a chance at discarding it. Yeah. Reaper the good really... news is, Eratos doesn't really have major pressure on board yet. Neither Spirit Reaper, Exile Force, or Monsters, you want an attack position unless you have something established and yeah. Eretus's life points are low enough that 
it's pretty dangerous position. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing with a lot of these cards, especially look at like Aratus's, you know, his card stuff like New Doria and Spirit Reaper and Mirage, really showing the power that Veronic Guardian added to the format and just how different it makes it from the, the previous format. Indeed. Not even counting stuff we haven't seen it, like Ring of Destruction is probably the other popular card. Basically, this is a big format shift. The second one mm -hmm. in the TCG's history. A big shift, but a positive shift. As we see, Aratus has four monsters on field. Well, you don't see that too often. And five back row cards on soul. The tension is, is mounting. Something has got to give eventually. What to do? It's almost like a stalemate at, at this point. It's when he's going to make the, yeah. the first move. Tupac got some weed and ready to chill watching this. Hey, there you go. I would, except that makes my, now. So it makes my throat where it's super. Legal. Yeah. Hey, it's legal in my state, but it makes my throat really dry. So uh, it'd be, oh! I'd be hard pressed to do that during a uh, stream. Ooh, fiber jar and then this? ring to just, ooh, now Rados. Now he can't use a card like Delinquent Duo or call of the haunted and puts him in a heavier ring range if if or when that card comes back but it will yes, reset basically. everything duo's gone io and premature burial while not gone are now dangerous unless it wins the game and soul's currently not in that position yeah, I mean, yeah, like you said, Rados could still play them, but with with the Fiber Jar going off, it makes it less likely that you'd have a more of a beneficial Prima play. Io is still possible, but you only get one use out of that, so there's already a, a hard clock on it. Yeah. This is just, while things have changed a bit, <laughs> yeah, we Tomatoes. are seeing the value of life points once more. Yeah, Tomato's still banished, but it gives Rados another chance to kind of reconstruct his hand and therefore the field, and it looks like he does in a more defensive he, way, which makes sense given the, the low life points. Yeah. He doesn't have a response that can warrant summoning a monster in attack position. It's yeah, nice. I think that, that Ring of Destruction really changed some of the possible game plan Rados could have had an exile With force power of ring mm -hmm. and right geki oh okay no prio using right geki to try and punch right into aratos but we'll see what this does and there this is, is the io but an mst drops down from the heavens cyclone oh call of the Has haunted descended. barely protects him Exile Force has such a weak attack, it's not able to kill through the Serpent, but it does protect Aratus for one more turn, and the Force will, will ensure that Exile goes back into the deck. Satan card, and then a Mirage Ow. of Nightmare, just to say hello. Yes. This game is basically over. I wouldn't say that's a waste of Call, of, call of the Haunt. It protected him for, for the turn. It's he, he, basically he, allowed him to top mm -hmm. deck. Yeah. But what is he going to be playing? Seriously. Like, we know that's a Serpent. There's we Serpent. Know oh! like, we, we know Exile can pop. Yes, if oh. he has an MST... Exile will pop the serpent and a monster will descend. If that card is nothing, this game is over. But we don't yeah, but we don't know what that last secret card next to Mirage Nightmare is.
So it's not over yet, but Reyos is certainly in the red here. Okay, Sol says he wants to check a ruling. It's a pro solemn. Maybe it's a pro heavy. Oh, okay, check this out. This is my coffee mug for today. It's like a retro style, like Reese's cup mug. <laughs> I have like three coffee mugs. This is this is my fun one. I have a little like coffee mug warmer thing. It's like a little like platform thing. It's great. So we seem to be entering a rulings check here. I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm sure Soul wants to make sure that whatever he's doing is correct me, and a potentially a pass. game blow given the range of life points. Who knows what this is being asked? Oh, it's being asked in tournament chat. Uh, looks like Soul might be typing. Yes. Uh, stop. There he is. That's thing about the chats like this. Pop in, pop out, pop in, pop out. Yeah, always good to be sure, especially in these older formats. There's a lot of things that change. Right. So with IO versus Mirage on my turn, oh, it it's this Mirage. Would my effect go off first since I have turn player priority before they can activate to draw? Uh I have some Mirage. I will negate Mirage, basically. Though it depends, basic if is his set card an IO? It sounds like it probably yeah. is an IO. However, theoretically it's an IO at least anyway. Theoretically, yeah. Go off first. So he sh should he not wait until he draws to see if ask his question. He might draw an MST. I'm gonna brain fart right now. <laughs> but basically, I should turn. negate Mirage. So if I versus, on my turn versus the opponent's Mirage. See if he activates IO. Answer should be yes. Yeah, because he has turn player priority. So his Mirage could go off. He could chain the... After that, the opponent's Mirage go off and where he can chain the Mirage of Nightmare. I believe that's how it should work. Sigoth doesn't exist in this format. It's basic stuff. Like his IO should go. He's the turn player, so he has priority. So then, after so in the same standby phase, go opponent can use. I used to mirage and you, yeah, that's correct. You can stop the draws and then let IO drop. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, YGO from Zero says, if you activate IO in response to the Mirage, you can stop the draws and then let IO drop. Oh, Colgate has defeated Elon. Yeah, that is his name. We'll call him Elon. No need to mention numbers. Yeah, Colgate has won. He's now in the quarterfinal. No, oh. se yeah, semifinals. This is. All right, Colgate. No quarter fine. I'm being stupid. Sorry. Let's see. It was like B Sox lost one to two. Yeah, Colgate 2-0. Oh. I'll submit those in.
Yeah, IO is kind of like a ruling's nightmare. <laughs> Which it doesn't feel like it it should be, but it's just it's just one of those like weird interacting cards with also its fair share of erratas and rule changes and things. Deal with this says actually won a set with reason and machine. Let's go. Hey, there you go. Oh, the, yep. Rados admits defeat. Not one one. And not quite. There is <laughs> game two. I think this is the first game three. The the first one that we've watched. It looks like B Soccer's DK went to game three. Ah. Uh. It did, and yeah, DK defeated B Sox. A good run, B Sox. Sure, you had plenty of fun. <laughs> See, let's look at the bracket currently. So Colgate and Letho go to the semifinals, where DK Zero will advance. In the pandemonium that is the dog town. It looks like T Spare is still playing against GM. Yeah, I, I saw your deck, YGO, um, when I was checking out the the uh, enter decks. Yeah, it looks pretty fun. And we also have Alon versus Causation. Should be happening relatively soon. Uh, Vatos has beaten GMYFS as well, 2-1. Oh, okay. Replay so hasn't been posted yet. So, GM... so yeah. GMY is lost. Okay. Ha. Uh, I'm not going to mention what happened. No. He posted the link first. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All good. Let's mark that down. Confiscation, looking at his hand, which is Dark Ruler, Forceful Sentry, MSC, Sasuke, Samurai, and the Exiled Force. Win or lose is always fun to pilot. Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of these decks are, like, so fun. Even, like, standard decks or you know, more standard play decks, like, like a gear free kind of thing. Always fun. Looks like he's gonna. Yeah, we have two other matches going Same. on right now. Be forceful. Causation ninety two is facing Alon. Will will be facing Alon. Yep. Once they. And their winner will face uh, GMYFS. And then. C Spear will be facing against Colgate. In the semis. But a painful choice. Painful so there choice. Right after it's pot of now. Yeah, pot of greed, comfy, and a painful. I'm seeing jar of greed, time seal, tomato, and duo. Forceful century. Oh, Earth. and Colgate will be facing Sea Spare Vatos. That one hasn't started right. yet. Yeah, the match being watched right now is the only one ongoing. Right, yeah, Soul and Arados are keeping at it. Oh, other than Caucasian. Yeah, Time Seal, this is a card that you don't really see too terribly often. It's it's a little more popular historically, but it's sort of been like up and down in, in popularity, it, it seems like. It's 
been treated as yada before yada and only for one turn in previous retro formats not so much yada format it's been played but that's its role like from release to fiber format it, yeah, it's a very skillful card to use you gotta need to know you not only need to use it at the right time you kind of almost need to have it at the right time too yeah it's basically a tech card kind of niche but pretty effective when used properly yeah it's gonna TT Ooh, TT. the board which is a great thing against a gravekeeper spy because that card is rather bothersome ah. to take care of and this card's the sasuke Which is a good card against uh, face down. It's the original Mystic Swordsman level two for those who are fond of goat format. Pretty, still as effective in warrior decks, except yeah. smaller. So slightly more risky. Yeah, but still has plenty of good use and exile force another warrior. Yeah, you kinda tell that there is a lot of good warrior monsters in Yada format. It's a it's it seems to be a heavier warrior focused format than <clears> all the great tools that are able to be used. Only one in this format for the first time. Yeah, I mean, Sasuke for that matter. I, I always like the Sasuke Samurai cards, all, all four of them. I think they always bring something to the table. Ooh, and another Spirit Reaper, one after another in assembly line fashion, discarding the Dark Ruler Hod Des, and that is... Kind of a tough hit because he cannot be special summoned from the graveyard. So the only way to get him back would be a card like Fiber Jar. Which is a downside for playing Hades. He, he has a decent effect, pretty good stats, you know, six stars, but yeah, he can't be brought back from the graveyard, which is unfortunate. And this is before not we, without Fiber Jar anyway. Yeah, and this is this is before we get way before Monster Reincarnation. And by that point, Hades is basically tribal at that point. It's basically tribal. Yeah. Hades is hard done at that point. <laughs> and MSD sniping so much hard all the done. Like, you're only seeing it in Fiends. Sure. Which, it's, it's, it's a deck. bit rare. <laughs> yeah, fun It's deck. a fun deck, yeah, absolutely. Almost summoning a Mystic Tomato. Okay. Tomato is just such a great card from a release, but they cannot punch over a Spy. This is actually the format to talk. Oh, Spy. The four, two cards that, well, historically... No targets. Didn't immediately see play. Huh, I guess he's only, maybe he's only playing Mystic two Mystic Tomato spies. and J Gravekeeper Spy, both of them on release. Yeah. Uh, Tupac, tomato no, was Berserk. Just... Berserk Dragon yeah. is not legal yet. That would be Dark oh. Crisis. Which is two sets after the cutoff point for Yada format. The Graceful Charity. Never a bad time. Especially since with Spy, if you know Race doesn't have an option, it just it just sits there. And can just yeah, slowly yeah, gain like... you advantage. As I was saying, Mystic Tomato, when it was released, in both OCG and TCG, didn't see immediate play, weirdly enough. like, In the OCG, it's because they had three Sangan and three Witches Black Forest, so it was just missed. It wasn't considered necessary. While in the TCG, similar thing. Two Sangan, two Witch. No one realized how good Mystic Tomato could actually be. Or the, any recruiter, for that matter. Giant Rat doesn't see play either. The only one that really saw play on any level, other than Tomato and Small Knife, like Nimble Momonga. If you see the 2003 World Championship lists, one of the Americans brought the squirrels and made it to the semifinals. 
Yeah, once in a while we'll see and people no mess with the squirrels, but <laughs> another defensive, but a defensive use from Injection Fairy Lily. Tomato cannot catch a break. Yeah. Basically, though Lily is not in a good position right now, yeah, you could flip it to attack, but you're putting it to attack and Tomato will just float into something else. And you're not clearing anything, mm -hmm. so it's not worth it. Tupac says that always happens when uh, sometimes people realize it later when a card is really good. Yeah, a lot yeah, of like, times it just it just depends on the format. It just depends on what's played prior, what people are currently like testing with. Um, a lot of scenes, you know, especially back then, didn't have like a ton of ton of resources. They're like Pojo forms and, and you know locals and stuff, but it's yeah, like, not nowhere near as like, like what we have today. Because of the ba because of the limited list, we didn't have the chance to realize Mystic Tomato was good. In the OCG, because they had ridiculous last will, Exodia decks could be played with Mystic Tomato and just set up a cannon soldier and then just float into Sangha and Wish of Black Forest. It's rare. Like The main way of doing it at the time was painful choice and backup soldier. But you could do that in the OCG. But Tomato's value was seen, but it was only seen like extra... Sangons and the Witches of Black Forests. So it wasn't seen as particularly useful. And in 2001, we had all the deep draw decks, so it was even more useless. Yeah, the Carpool and the OCG I... is way different than the uh, the TCG, for sure. Ooh, another yeah. Serpent with the TT combo. Clearing the field entirely. Except for one lone yeah. back row card. If it, Eratos didn't have the uh, card advantage, this would not have been a good decision. But it works here. Yeah, just realizing that, hey, I can't get over these big booty defenders. <laughs> An irony of ironies, this is the format where TCG players finally figured out how good Mystic Tomato actually was. For hand control, because the OCG also figured that out, Don Zalug, Spirit Reaper, both dark monsters. So you could float into that. But it was an OCG player. I always forget his name. Saying it outright. The World Championship. It wasn't a... Big Yu Leong. Oh, in that the, one. In Yu Leong. Yeah. With, yeah, with Mystic Tomato. That fa relatively famous list, if you're aware of it or knew of it at the time. This list basically opened a lot of people's eyes to what was possible. Yeah. And also, hand control became the big thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just seeing like results from like a, a world level really changed a lot. I mean, let alone Ferrana Garden with like you said, Spirit Reaper, Don Zalug, even New Doria having options to more than just saying again and which like float into to have a variety of options to use. So yes. It's, it's, it's like a, that... it's a weird Rota in a way. <laughs> yeah. Early an early example of searching from deck. That isn't drawing. Yeah. Like what better Other options than last than... will, but last will is just mm -hmm. ridiculous and should not exist. <laughs> <laughs> I think people can say that for a lot of cards. A good chunk of people probably say that for Yada Garasu. That's why it was banned for such a long time. And it's because normal summons on Byron just let it sit. Let it kind of chill mm -hmm. out. Yeah, and I was speaking of Mystic Tomato, but the other card, Gravekeeper Spy. Solid card. Pretty good card. Even in this highly inflated power level in comparison to GOAT, where it's just extremely dominant. Yeah, and it's still good in this format, as we see. It can protect a lot. It can it can summon from deck. And there's kind of very few things I can still punch over. Like, yeah, we got Injection Fairy Lily, Zombira, uh, the Tribute Monsters. But it's, yes. it's still showing that. Goblin even in, Attack Force. Yeah, Goblin Attack Force. Uh, yeah. Hades some, existing. Some way, yeah, Hades existing. 
basically means spy is controlled for the Ooh, most part along with harpies. all the other power cards jinzo and a harpy's com- deadly combo yeah yeah in comparison to say goat format where it's a depowered format and spy is just ridiculous like duo's ridiculous like speaking of duo like duo is a good card yeah it just not as good as some other cards, but once you take add a ban list, once you start taking away cards, certain cards that like like B ranked or so just shoot up. Yeah, I mean Yada format, we don't we don't got a ban list. It's just it's limited list, so everything is is legal. It's way scary, but then it's also a case of which scary cards do you pick from? Because you know you can't play everything at this point. The card pool is just too big. Can't play everything. What was I going to say? My brain just turned off. Yeah, you can't play everything. But you also don't have the centralizing thing just yet. That starts to come next format. Yeah. When uh, Breaker and Tribe get added. Yeah, way more standard builds than before. Like, you still have, like... You know, fairly standard cards you're going to want to run stuff like, you know, like Raigeki and Pot of Greed and Graceful and whatnot, but it's it's a bit different than when compared to, like, a GOAT format where the the positives you can get from these cards are way higher in, in those in a lot of regards than it was back then, which is, I think, why people dislike stuff like Duo in GOAT. See, Tupac is asking, does anyone play Magic Cylinder? Burn does. Yeah, Burn. Magic Cylinder is still like a decent card. You know, it just you can exchange a, a good chunk of life points, but it does have some inherent issues. Yeah. Like, it doesn't take care of the issue at hand. But it, it's good. You know, you can win games off of it. It's just a little more particular. Yeah. At this point, Three ceasefire and three magic cylinder would still be kind of ridiculous. But yesterday we played PGD four man. While it's stronger than both, we saw what three ring does. Both burn and clear. It's basically a buffed version of both cards. So ceasefire has its own little niche in comparison. Yes, yes, it is. OCG even had it briefly, though they Rig of Destruction wasn't in the pack, the core booster, so it wasn't that bad. But they had three ceasefire, three ring, three magic cylinder, either for a month or just a few days, depending on when you got the card at magic cylinder. Uh, yeah, that it kind looks, of deck is stupid. It looks like a lawn beat causation 2 0. Dang. That was quick. Congrats for that. Now you'll move up, face GMYFS. Uh, I helped uh, Alon practice for a bit. Yeah, I, I dueled uh, Alon earlier today, did uh, two matches. Pretty good. Yeah, he managed to beat me once. But my I skills... beat him all three times. I I I won all the mat. I won the matches. I just lost one game. Uh, my sk- my skills are undefined. That was a very positive way to say undefined. They're they're moderate. I'm I would say I'm moderately skilled. <laughs> I feel like mm. my problem is I make I can realize every time I make a misplay, but it, I never learn from ma- making misplays. That's that's my greatest flaw. Oh, <laughs> explosive. <laughs> Ooh. Explosive, graceful, draws pot, the pot reborn in a time. Seal. Will we see it? No, we see a Jinzo. Yeah, I'm sure that's why he shot off that time seal, expecting it. Yeah, though in this case, <laughs> the charity and duo neutralizes it. He has so many cards in his possession now. Though we won't see duo because Soul's life points are in such a low position.
Oh, massive push. Now, King. Mirage is bad side could potentially show up here. Yeah, King Tiger and Jinzo, a very deadly combination because not only can't you use traps, you can also cannot summon low attacking monsters. 1400 or less. And this shuts off Correct. a lot of p potentials. Like Basically, Eratos mm -hmm. needs MST here or he's in trouble. Yeah, you, know, you you could set a missing tomato, but its summon would get hit. Ooh, it rips a Sangan and a tomato, speaking of which. Yeah. Raigeki Dark Hole. Michael Change says your part plus monster. Yeah, Michael says, I realize I put way too many power spells in my deck and not enough monsters. Yeah, that that's a problem. You know, there's there's so many because yeah. that's the thing. It's in like like let's say go format. There's of a specific amount. You know, let's say fifteen like real power cards. You know, all yeah, things like, considered. There's... In this, there are so many power cards. Is you know you have to have more of a specific selection of like really what does your deck really need, which I think is really fascinating. And it's not in a yes. such a degenerate way. Like yeah, it still sucks. Dark if, hole. If you get. Like, it still sucks if you get hit with all these hand rip cards. But, oh, and I call the Haunted on the Jinzo for the... But I call MS, him... No MST, you would have used it. Ooh. This is game. Oh, this that... Is mm. Sides on the... Ooh, this is deadly. Um... But yeah, oh, with, he's with, going. Um, I forgot what I, I was forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, it's, it's deadly, but yeah, it, it does saves it doesn't him. Yeah, so like you know, yeah, it sucks if you hit by like all the hand rips, but like it's it's something that happens, right? It's with all the power cards, things are are bound to explode in your face, and that's that's, that's just the nature of Yu Gi Oh. Oh, snatch steel and a book of the moon. And Jinzo yes! does have decent defense. Holy guacamole. It's adequate defense for this. And Eratos has no answer. Yeah. Smoke Grenade is banned. But yeah, it's, Smoke Grenade it's banned. Is only, it only has any viability in classic Yu-Gi-Oh! with Gear Freed. Like, and even, and even in this, basically useless. yeah, with all the tests oh. that's been going on the last year of of the Yada format, it turns out you know smoke grenade isn't like people rather play bat blast with chain more often than than smoke grenade. So it's not and like it's, it's draw. It's, so it's not like it's it's an abusive card. Basically, he just needs to drop a monster. Will last any mo will. Oh, GG, GG's, GG's. Yeah, because Dark Ruler Hardest will stop the tomato. Not only that, there's another monster on board. Yeah. And unless he has a Karibo. This has been a very tough back and forth game by, by both duelists. Gets the witch and, just uh, in case. Somewhat unintuitive play. Not something you'd think to do. No, under yeah. normal second. Oh, he's going to win with Witch. Yeah, showing the That's power of last glorious. Week. And Aratos wins the match. No, Soul wins the match. Their Soul wins the match. Excuse me. Yeah, two to one. Very, very good duel by both parties. Yes. Uh Let's see who do we want to jump into? Let's see how about GM is GMYFS is are they playing? Looks like they are. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, it's game three. Hef it's game three, it's telling me zero zero. Oh, I'm thinking of Colgate and Vatos. Okay. Basically, the 
another match going on. That's on game three. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm watch. Yeah, currently it is game one of GMY against Alon. Although Alon's dual book name is Rubber. The Rubber Rich. Man. GMY FS. He's on a, some sort of germ strategy. We're seeing scapegoat oh, and cannon soldier. There are nine people. Let's see if I can change that quickly. Yeah, it looks like there's 10 concurrent viewers. Yeah, some people might just have it on in the background, and, you know, no problem. People want to kind of lurk and just enjoying all this. No issue with that. Pure Order shutting off the right geck. But uh, Gemini Elf, still dangerous. Going for the root of the issue, but a Ring of Destruction will deny that attack. Yeah, it's possible a lot of players are are in, on it too. Yeah, I have such a such a defining card, shutting off all the spells, and you can you can turn it off when when you want. Just get rid of it during your standby phase. Pop in those, and that's game one, just like that for GMYFS. Now, we, we weren't in the match from the beginning. But we'll see if Rubber can bounce back in a game two. Because this is in Dogtown. Is, is anyone in the main thing? Main bracket. Not look like Colgate's games up yet. It is. Oh, it is. Yes, they're on game three. I said that already. Oh, I am. I am not seeing it. Oh. Let me, let me exit out real quick and jump back in the dueling room. Ooh! What, what, what's, what's it's their, an exciting one. What's their dueling book name? Polgate and Vatos. V-A-T-O-E-S. It's an exciting one. Colgate is not showing up for me. They're both in top deck mode. Ah. I want to show up. <laughs> Just look up their profiles if you're having a problem. Uh, if that's what it takes. Yeah. You're. S yeah, it's they're not showing up for me. Colgate, anyway. A weird. Try VA. VA? Yeah, VA. Just type it in username. Yeah. VA. There it is. That's weird. I, yeah, I'm typing in Colgate. It It is not, was not showing up for me. There we go. Ooh, limiter, oh, this is machine. It's uh, another machine, machine reasoning. reasoning deck. Okay. From the, from one of the people who helped make it, basically. Yeah, reasoning is such a, a fun strategy. I'm I'm really loving how many people. Also, Lee, what's up? Um, I, I'm really loving how how many people have been like trying out and working on this reasoning to really make it just like yeah. a really fun rogue deck. Yeah, it's not reasoning gate. We don't have monster gate yet, but this is reasoning decks are mm -hmm. their own thing for the time being. It's like. From Yada to Chaos, it's just that's the kind of deck it is. Yeah, it can, it can win games. It can steal games just like that. And with with cards like yes. like Scapegoat and and stuff around, you can really slow things down and get a little defensive if if you need to, as opposed to the uh, typically hyper offensive Reasoning Gate deck in feature formats. 
Yep, pretty much. And you can play a lot of... Oh! Ooh, a faith. What does he want? Monster Reborn Jinzo. is he what wants he wants. Reestablish. Oh, yeah, the Jinzo. So... Thousand Eyes Restricted is a technical option. Yo, Jack Whitestone, what's going on? Welcome to the Yata Lives Tournament. First annual, possibly only. I feel like if I did a, another tournament, it would be a uh, you know different format for variety's sake. I I have a few a few ideas once once I decide to do this. like this. I honestly this just like sprang up an idea in my head like a month ago. I'm like, oh, it'd be fun if I do this. Let's do that in a month. <laughs> Completely out of nowhere, but that's ooh going for game. Injection of fairy lily. He has the light points. This is barely though twenty three hundred attacking into the sand game. Will this clear it? Declares the effect of. Yeah, you got it with a limiter removal. Oi, oi, oi! Should have gone for that. Fairy lily just. Inject Sangan straight to the dog town. So Colgate the loses. power of Lily. There's a reason yeah. it's limited. So I will update that. Good game. Even though we caught the tail end of that. Just picked up Fiber Jars, Mirage's Confi, getting F next week, getting oh. old staples for the Edison guys get here. Yeah, exactly. You gotta jump on this train. Warrior format? Because that's the first official one. The unofficial one is just... Meh. It's probably the first format along with its traditional counterpart i would not recommend it for a oh. tournament i'm gonna jump into the alifia soul match here since that is the other semi-finals match where c spare will make it to the the finals the winner's finals winner's finals there is so in the in the in the winner's finals there will be a bracket reset if the person who is coming from the loser side wins so possibly we could see a really big grand finals We're seeing some dangerous cards in both graveyards. Leafy's graveyard consists of Potagree, Duo, and a Forceful Sentry. And there is a Flash Assailant again. Uh, can, you can make a Torment with the list that had the first bands in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. That would be Chaos... Not... Warrior. Well, yeah. Basically Warrior format. There was technically like an August list, but it's weird. <laughs> yeah, I mentioned that already. That's that's the that's more like, than like calling the, it um, Amsterdam now. Yeah, Amsterdam. So format. beforehand, it was called traditional chaos. Yeah, because it that entire block is just chaos, or is considered chaos. Yeah, reasoning a, gate mm -hmm. is relatively new in understanding, like new age ham. In other words. It's another name for a colloquial name from the time. Going ham. So I, not many people, many people may not understand what that means. It's not used anymore. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Jack Weissman says, hey, Janjo, you should make a Shadow Realm tournament or Battle City. Hey, I could always call one of these things some sort of Battle City adjacent thing. Who's to say? But yeah, let me let me pin the challenge link in the Discord. There we go. Um, yeah, yeah, Amsterdam is fun because it's it's you know it's the ancient sanctuary format basically, right? You get a little more yeah. stuff to play with, even though Warrior format is like the first like real official like ban list format. It's fun, but let's put it this way. You're either playing Reasoning Gate style decks or 
You're trying to summon spell canceler. Oh, for the record, Janger, my name is Colgate, but it's with a capital L. I? I can't. Eh? You type capital, capital I. I. Wait, Colgate with a capital I? Koi Gate. Yeah, uh, I'm. You just call him Colgate. Because it's more fun to associate him with Toothpaste. Wait, is it actually Koi Gate? Have that's I that's how you would say that's how you'd say it if you treated the capital I as an actual I. Oh my god. But it looks like an L, like it's punny. Oh. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking like Colgate. Yeah, like toothpaste. Yeah. That's oh. why you call him Colgate. Oh, baby. Harpies. And he also MST, wants to call Colgate. Blast with chain. Chain. And an MST. Where is the chain burn? <laughs> oh. Popping everything. Okay. I have to leave the booth for a bit. I'll be right back. Okay, Dougie, thanks for hopping on. Oh, uh, I'll be back. I'm not. Okay, sure, anything. sure. I'm just going to be muting practically. See you in a bit. Sure, sure, sure. A <laughs> fiber jar, come on. Yeah, get the faith. This is a very dangerous hand, though. Flash assailant or a uh, board. Flash assailant, King Tiger, and Donald Z. But getting back the cold wave. But that's just going to get discarded by, by Don Zalug, though. Yeah, it's dangerous. Like, how do you how do you come back from this? Got to get that Raigeki. Fiber Jar is in the grave. Maybe a Dark Hole. Reinforcements of the army. But what do you what do you, what do, you do at? Ah! Reminder: I have a. Uh, raising desk, and sometimes I accidentally hit the uh the thing that raises. <laughs> Just like a little like panel, next, and there it is. Alifia admits the or uh, Soul admits defeat rather for the first game going on to game two of this semifinals match. I I use an I just took, just to look like an L. Oh, okay. So you're being clever with that. That makes it hard to search your name up. <laughs> I'm like, look, and I'm like, I swear to God, I'm typing this correctly. And it's just, it's just not working. You know, <laughs> boys that people find hard to find it because of that. Hey, just makes it, makes it more, uh, makes people more like, I got, I got to see this. I got, I got to find it. Happened with B socks once upon a time. I can imagine that. I will keep that in mind uh, in the future whenever that happens. Or if you, uh, you know, if we cover one of your games later in the tournament. You're so far, about an hour and a half in, and I tell you, it's flying by. My God, it's already two thirty. Goodness. Yeah, these king tigers are are dangerous. Attacking the witch, which the witch will get its effect off. Naturally. What will Soul search for? I guess that's like the benefit of doing, you know, how B Sox is his tournaments. That you do them odds enough. We pretty much know everyone and their dueling book names and their Discord names and everything kind of in more synergy than me, uh, you know, doing a first time thing. Which, again, hopefully everyone has been enjoying this tournament. Uh, again, if, you, if you're enjoying it, definitely let me know if you want to see future stuff like this or consider uh you know like liking the stream or maybe enjoy my patreon or donating some funds for like some put them towards like prizes Let's see it looks like uh 
All right, looks like Alon has lost two to one against GMYFS. Good dueling, everyone. And it looks like another chain shoe. It looks like Sleety Diamond is also out against Aretos. Looks like it's probably a two zero. Yeah, Sleety is out. So this is the current bracket back. right now. Welcome back. It'll be a uh, dog yeah. town. We'll have DK zero against Aretos in the dog town. It's both their games have ended. Two strong duelists. Yep, and GMYFS will uh, move on to the next round of the loser's bracket. Mm. And the winner of DK and Rachel's will fight Colgate. Let's see, Charity will discard, looks like a Rota and a Sangan in favor of a Snatch Seal against King Tiger. I do have everyone's decks if you are interested. Slady was playing a Relinquish deck. Yeah, I didn't get to watch all of it, but did he play Scapegoat or Serpent? Looks Serpent, like, but yeah, no Serpent. scapegoat. Yeah, but no scapegoat. Scapegoat is really good in Relinquish. Yeah, both as a defensive option and as a way to get empty, empty material for your Relinquished. So yeah. you don't have to spend anything mm -hmm. on your Sonic Birds or Senjus. Yeah, that's a great thing. Or with... any other monster. Yeah, that's a great Unless thing. Unless it's wish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, yeah, like, I'm not gonna say anything more about the deck. It's just like, scapegoat is basically an essential card. Yeah, it's great with with relinquish because again, relinquish is only yeah. one star, so like literally anything can work. And if you have things that generate more advantage, like a yeah. scapegoat or a sinister serpent, it is great to use. And I also I'm I'm enjoying that people are just trying out little different decks around. Like yeah. it's not all just the same deck or anything. We we are seeing a variety yeah. with with normal builds and also spice spicy builds. I believe B Sox yeah. was playing a reasoning deck. Uh, it's like machine a, reasoning. Yeah, machine reasoning, which you know we did see on this past Thursday stream where you played that against me. A uh, very fun duel. If anyone wants to check that out, check out the uh, Yada Lives practice stream, which the whole thing's up. It was a sort of um, a showcase stream for Yada format before we had this big event. Shows some of the big things you could do. Yeah, I don't yeah. think we're we're gonna see any Fuchsia Richie, but. Oh. Oh, it's like DK Zero has to drop. Pain. Oh, that's unfortunate. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's. That's unfortunate. It's going to be posted here in the tournament report, I guess. So then that will move Colgate to face Aretos. Since, uh, unfortunately, DK0 has to drop, but, you know. Thank you, DK, for playing up to this point.
things moving pretty quickly. So now we only have one match going right now, or two of them. LF Yaz facing Soul right oh, now. Oh, ah. Fiber Jar. No Fiber in Alethea's deck from that Apostle of Extermination. I think that was its OCG name. Or, no, it was Apostle of Eradication, I think. My memory serves me right. That cold, we've seen two cold waves in grave. Like that's the kind of that's definitely an interesting tech that we're seeing from Soul. That is, I would say, it's pretty uncommon. Asatsu no Shito. Apostle of obliteration. Oh, uh, Apostle of obliteration. That's nah, potato potato. <laughs> yeah, can't use that. It's too religious. Nope, of course he can't. Yeah, I mean, no, no man of cross out is a pretty good name, though. It has a nice ring to it. Yeah. Basically, I guess. it's a good name. You could have used Disciple, though. Yeah, That's but... what mm -hmm. Cheeto also means. Yeah, but no man of cross out. Like, it sounds fancy, but also deadly. Mm. He's a nobleman, and he crossed out. Although, what, when are we getting yeah. like him as a monster? Though, like we need him as has his own mon. We, we need like a deck built around him. I think we did get cross out designator. Yeah, we got designator. We got the other cross out of uh, extermination or nobleman of extermination. Another character entirely, I think. Yeah, the different different soldiers, but they're all part of the same nobility, I think. When a Raigeki doesn't care what that face down is saying, sending the thunderbolt straight down and getting yeah, just... rid of something possibly the injection fairy lily. Just putting on the pressure. This see... is what hand control likes to do. Yeah, see so too... it's not really hand controlling. See, Tupac, I have people in my group that play these formats. So oh, like to play in the next. Oh, yeah, game. for sure. Oh, yeah. Well, that's an MST, but that's an unlikely. Extra 500. There it Alethea is. wins the match. 2 0. Yowzers. Oh, that's nice, Tupac. Uh, speaking of, it's time to shill. <laughs> Not for myself. <laughs> or should I wait? He's supposed to show up at some point. Oh, are you talking about Beat Socks? socks? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I'm if you want. I don't know if he. I don't know if he's showing. I haven't heard from him, but. <laughs> okay. In that case, you seem interested in the old formats. I don't know if you know about this yet, or anyone new might have not heard about this yet. And. Okay. Have you heard of Yu-Gi-Oh! from Zero yet? Basically, B Socks. He has a couple of comments on here. Though it seems it's gone at this point. No, there's a few of them. Never mind. I'm sorry, I'm just really silly. But yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! from Zero is a YouTube channel that shows the history of the game from start to finish. Right now, we're base. They're ba we're basically at the end of DM format, a DM era with Warrior format. Warrior format being covered before we transition into GX. So it's a good time to s get on the Discord, subscribe to the channel, that kind of thing. Yeah, definitely back that up. Big fan of YGO from Zero. You know, he was he was on my. Uh... My podcast, uh, the in the, Zo in the zone podcast, when we, you know, he was in the recent live stream. We've collaborated in a bunch of videos too. If you if you enjoy more deep look at decks and duels of old formats in specific order, you know, as opposed to like my own history series, definitely check YGO from Zero out. And it's kind of crazy already hitting like goat format. You know, it's it's like it feels like yesterday he was just starting. Chaos format. My little boy's growing up. <laughs> Double Reaper. 
And a Raigeki against the Dark Ruler Hot Desk for game. That is game one. Oratos. I think I believe that is the only game currently on. Maybe. Uh, LFIA and Vatos will be facing each other. Yep. That'll be in winner's finals. As we have Soul against GMYFS. Losers round three. And Colgate is currently fighting Aratos, and they will face, both will face the winners of those in the losers round four before aiming towards the big boy finals. But yeah, 2024 has been really busy in terms of the DM era tournaments. Like the food bowl is going on now for Yugi Kaiba format, named after food. Drago, Drago on DD. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's been so many like tournaments lately. I know there's a uh, recently there was I don't know if it's still going on. There's a Light Sworn tournament. I think it was format library. Um, yeah, the Yugi Kaiba format. There is a Critter format tournament coming up soon. Uh, the next there, there, Yu-Gi-Oh the, from Zero Tourney yeah, will next, be Imperial. Yeah, Imperial format. Um, there are like the Fiber monthlies that that are going on yeah a ton nobody of nobody wants formats. To, yeah nobody wants to do an amsterdam format tournament <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't be a, opposed to it but it wouldn't be my first pick either <laughs> or second third or fourth <laughs> it's dead last it's the if you don't count android it's the only ridiculous tier zero format let's just say i mean i enjoy i think there is an art to a tier zero format you know i don't think they're all built the same there are some that are oh. i i feel like are fun with the mirrors and i i enjoy android format and i think tell that format has has a lot of fun with it because sometimes it's just enjoy having a, a car crash format yeah it can be though but that's just me. on relative principle there are people who just oppose those kind of formats. Yeah, and that's perfectly fair. <laughs> but that's also the beauty of, of some of the formats that you do have a variety. It's not all the formats are of similar power levels. And I, I appreciate that to, to some degree. Here you see the reasoning. Colgate or Coygate. No, it's Colgate. See, reasoning is always a finicky card because, especially in this version of it, where it's not reasoning, oh. right? It's just reasoning. So you're usually having a heavier monster count than what you may be typically yeah. familiar with. Elifia and Vatos have started. Ooh, calls the six and hits the dark ruler Hades. Hades nuts straight to the grave. Ain't coming back, buddy. Must put a must put it on a broccoli rocket to get it back. Yeah, but the Ring of Destruction will answer the call, destroy the Air Knight Part Shaft, refusing to get rid of the Witch, and refusing that extra draw. Hades <laughs> Nuts, the classic. Thank you, I'm glad someone... Ah. I, I, have, I have a co-worker, and that's like every single joke he says, is it's, it's a Deez Nuts joke. <laughs> I, I appreciate the commitment to sticking to one singular joke. You like Wendy's? I do like Wendy's. I, I rarely go there, but usually when I do, I find their food pretty good as far as fast food goes. It's not my, my first pick for fast food, but it won't be my last pick. Okay. Got a monster okay. boring targeting. I know we like the jokes, but no, not that. <laughs> what, Wendy's? No, oh, I'm something else entirely. Oh. I feel like I, I missed something. I have, I have the brain of a peanut. Ooh, Air Knight will just pierce right through that serpent and give a draw to a Rados. Very good plus. 
And with Serpent yeah. coming Our back, Shaft. it Aaron and I just Our Shaft pressure. is really good in this format. Previous format, oh Colgate, it was a more beta oriented format, so okay. it was less good. Now Colgate but did here, not re add the Serpent. It is yeah, optional. But here, just draw, draw metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. There's so much you can do with Parshaft. Like, there's a reason people figured using Jinzo and Parshaft as the two main B main tributes in a deck, especially in Chaos format. Oh yeah, a Aaron and, and Go a... format. Like, yeah. there was a point Goat Control just ran Parshaft and Jinzo in the main deck. Yeah, I mean Osir Priest. I mean, like that was like the deck, I and mean, that's why it was called goat format because like you know historically that was like the big deck at the time and you know even with air knight air knight's definitely a card that has shown its its value i mean we're, we've been seeing it in this yeah. in this in this format particularly that if you can get advantage yeah. it's nice advantage to get yeah, goat it has, has changed, changed so a lot much. oh yeah 100 percent from like a goat format from like a goat control mirror match to Exerion universe to chaos turbo, it's it's gone through its own multi layered history, which is fascinating compared to like a, a lot of other formats. Call yeah. on the witch, but that will get MST'd. Yeah, Yada format is one of those formats you could just go back to and play and enjoy. Like old GOAT used to be. Warrior format, even more so. That's basically GOAT 1.0. GOAT Control won the most recent tournament. Yeah, and you can like play a, 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 you know, like a metamorphosis kind of GOAT Control thing in Yada format. Yeah. Like, you have to play a specific way, but. It works. Mm. Works pretty well. Time ceiling potentially in prep for a Jinzo calls a seven, but it hits a four, and that four is a mechanical chaser. That'll do. Depending on what's in hand. Shout out to to the one TP one copy I own. <laughs> the European version, but TP two nonetheless. Ooh, a change of heart. It's not looking good. A time yeah, zone might have been I mean. proven to be useless, potentially. Yes, this is limiter position. It's time 19. for an explosion. Chaser hits with the 18. And then there is a limiter with a quick play. Now it is a 1-2-1. One, one. A Raiders versus Colgate. Ooh. And like, a limiter removal defeat. was at 1 for quite a few months. It's... I think it's actually the first card in the TCG to ever come back from the list. It's it's definitely interesting just because it, it, I feel like it would have been a lot more fun if it was unlimited in in uh you know when it first came out in like Imperial. Yeah, we played that format. It's like PSV format, limiter removal, machine OTK. Good deck, really good deck. But, like, over time, the people still try to play machine decks, machine beat down or something like that. But Mechanical Chaser can beat over Kaiku and even beat over an unboosted Bazoo, but won't beat over Gemini Elf without limiter removal. Yeah, really this nice is the first dynamic. real four. Yeah, this is the first real format where we see it get to shine properly. Uh, and machine I'm, I'm reasoning, all here for it. Yeah, machine reasoning is still around, even in the next two formats. Like, it's not until Chaos where basically the reasoning decks you just go into full decline. Chaos is just the best deck. Chaos Reasoning, if you play that. Yeah, Reasoning is definitely one of those weirder cards. Like, there's definitely a lot of weirder cards that came from uh, Pharaonic Guardian, you know. Um, which, I, I, I recall 
you know, back then people were really kind of complaining about Piranha Garden for being like, oh, cars are have too much text or too confusing when you have stuff like reasoning and question and Buster Rancher, all these kind of you know, Necro Valley, all these like weirder cards. Yeah. The game oh, is that, started becoming Is that game more already? Complex. Wow. Right was that turn three? <laughs> what Yada. was that? That's the first Yada, Yada lock we, we've seen, I believe, on stream. Just like that. Wow. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. That was wild. So Aratos wins 2-1. The loser's semi. Wow, that was... It was just like, bam, just like that. Yeah, yeah well, this... well that's, that's, that's the thing, Michael, is that Yacht, even though it's called Yada format, that's, you know, the remembered deck, it, it's not a tier zero deck. You still need to work your way and also have a little luck on your side for the Yada lock. Yada, it's an interesting thing. Like, I re there's a video on the Yada Lock Chaos version, and if you actually read through the comments, people who were there at the time actually explain that it's not Yada Locking for the sake of it. That's not why Yada was so broken. It's so broken because the, this game is basically card advantage. Or bust. Life points help, but card advantage is the most important thing. And Yada makes it so that you just the controller of it will keep drawing cards and the opponent will not. They'll get deeper into their deck and the opponent will just either get stuck or have to summon or set something. Yeah, because you, you, you just get Yeah, because you need all these the cards. Yeah, you need all these cards to help you get to it because Yada in of itself, right, doesn't really synergize with much, right? It can't be special summoned. It can be searched with Sangan and Witch, but that's really about it. Creature swap. You summon it, you creature swap, and get it back after stealing the opponent's monster. Yeah, I mean, more in regards to, like, making use of... of like its effect and everything, like yeah, you can't creature swap. We don't we don't really see creature swap that often though, although it does that also does synergize with with the scapegoat and those kind of decks. Recruiter decks were more common in fiber format and earlier, but yeah, fiber format seems to be the peak of them. Like because here you have. The card that we're seeing right now. Yeah. King Tiger Wong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tiger and basically shuts them down on its yeah. own. Yeah, Tiger. And we're is... seeing people main deck it now. Yeah, it's very anti Yada Karasu and a lot of its kind of similar brothers. Very strong, strong card. Yeah. There's yeah. still a way to build around there, it though. There, there there's Nimble another Bob one. Up. Yeah, Nimble Momonga does not care. Once you set it, it'll be summoned from the deck set defense. So, Wangku won't destroy it. Yo, El Cheshire, what's up? Yeah, I can see how Yada was banned, lol. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah, a card that can just essentially, well, it can end games, but also the way it ends games is kind of weird because it doesn't technically end the game you still have to attack and pass attack and pass attack and pass so it it's a little it, finicky in that regard especially uh it's sometimes overseas it can be a bit different <laughs> on how you uh overseas oh yeah yeah, yeah how you uh, decide fun to fact. end the game yeah fun fact for those who don't know you can't scoop in the ocg without the opponent's permission Mm -hmm. so if the in the old days if the opponent yada locked you you just keep getting poked and poked and poked and poked yeah until eventually 
you either lose or your opponent finally decide the controller of the Yada Garasu finally decides to let you scoop. Yeah, and there's there's advantages to to that too from the player with the Yada Garasu because they they can say they can just use that just for a mental thing. They can use it to run run time. A lot of interesting applications with that. You can just you do it just to be a dick. I mean, it, it is a really weird thing. And yeah, you, you mentioned Michael Victory Dragon. Yeah, I mean, Victory Dragon was essentially designed because of that rule, of that surrender rule. Where in the TCG, it, it's, a, it's a you know, it's a different story <laughs> where you can just you know, oh, Victory Dragon immediate scoop. But TT, oh, that's yeah. that's, a, that's a good TT because you get the serpent back, so you're kind of mitigating the card loss with that. The pain of victory, dragon. B dragon control. You gotta wow. love it though. I think I tried making a 2003 victory dragon deck like years ago, and it's just it's so hard to make. Like it's really hard to get really good dragons. There's like troop dragon, but. It... <laughs> Yeah. You don't play dragons. You play D tribe. Mm. Make your monsters into dragons when you're ready to summon Victory Dragon. That's probably a smarter way to go about it. Uh deal with it. Uh out of the tourney, can't but can't be mad with how I did. I feel like I accomplished what I wanted to do, which was to get people to call seven off reasoning for fear of barrel dragon Lamau. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. The, yeah, thanks for entering the tournament. You did a like great job. Barrel Dragon is a scary monster. You know, we saw B Sox play it against me on the uh, Thursday stream, and uh, <laughs> I Barrel Dragon mm. is insane. You're going past series one with your OCG retrospective, right? Me? Yeah. Uh, well, with I mean, technically, Yu Gi Oh history. As covered series one, two, and three, um, Yugi OCG. My current plan is just series one, but we'll see. I'll say. Okay. Yeah, I was just asking because you can mention Barrel Dragon for junior format or the reanimation deck. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. been around, and even in the TCG, people are playing Barrel Dragon deck. Yeah, in critter format. People love that Barrel Dragon when it came out. And it's like, oh, a Blue Eyes, but you can pop monsters, basically. Slightly weaker. Right. But slightly weaker, yeah. but its, it's but... effect was too too alluring. Plus, it, plus it was from the anime. It's a new card. It is, and it's, it it's, boss it's, monster. Yeah, it's higher rarity. Yeah, it's actually a good card. It's just hampered with two, being a two-tribute monster. Yeah, but back back and... then, it was, it was the case where... You know, decks weren't as optimized as they are in, in hindsight. Where and and as Definitely. such, games were a lot. Yeah, and as such, games were a lot slower. Where it was more likely that you could summon a two tribute monster. You know, it's still a lot yeah. of risk involved with it, but it, people were more keen on playing that type of strategy. Yeah, where in the OCG, it only took like a few months for people to figure out what to do because. So many powerful three ups in the OCG in a TCG. It took like a year before people started finally figuring out how to optimize decks in some level. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, well, or it's still time. not like we know how we know today, but people figured out how decks worked and how to build them on basic. Yeah, it's what like... would be back then would be mm -hmm. basic today. Yeah, like people could still build like fairly decent decks as we've seen um in a lot of like side events and like duelist leagues and stuff but it really wasn't until like the world yeah. champions and like more major events like the sjc's were kind of coming into Seasonals. play yeah that we started to see more people being like okay here's what like actually works at higher levels or hey maybe what i'm doing can maybe be tweaked a little bit take out yeah. some of the more Basically. win more stuff and just really struck have a more structured deck oh there's the magic cylinder talking about that earlier
Yeah. Barrel trying with priority is so funny. It is. It is. Yeah. It's like it's such a strong card, but you have to set up to make it work. Joey Pegasus is probably the first legitimate format where you could leg- play Battle Dragon in something. And it would potentially be not great, but you could play it for fun and possibly take wins. Yeah, now with, with Reasoning as a available card in the card pool, all of a sudden you can build decks with all these high-level monsters that you weren't running or even considered to run before, which I think really adds a lot of fun usage for those kind of monsters into the game, really opens up more of the card pool to players, especially with yeah. stuff, stuff like Barrel Dragon and of, of the like, where we see with limited removal, with machine reasoning OTKs. So Fun my, deck. Yeah, uh, Michael says, any advice for filtering through the power spells you need? If you watch my replays, I really just drew spells and traps all day. I'd agree. Graceful Charity. Yeah, it just you depends. Could try up- yeah, I you think it just depends on the kind of decks that, that you want. You know, just have a good amount of monsters, right? You know, I would say somewhere yeah. between... you know, 15 to 20, uh, you know, again, depending on, on your deck. Um, just think of some cards that you may not use as often, right? Like stuff like Heavy Storm, do you want to do you want to destroy your back row? Uh, cards like Premature Burial, are you going to be reviving stuff from your graveyard like often? Or like, are you going to need that often? You know, some things you can keep more in the side deck where you say, hey, th- this card would be good, but maybe it'll be better against certain matchups more than like a general play yeah. style matchups are really important in 2003 Yu-Gi-Oh once you get out of android yeah like again again like there are so many cards like sometimes you don't need to run painful choice right sometimes you maybe not even need to like change a heart if you're playing certain decks like like let's say a burn deck weirdly enough depending on the deck there are cards you can just cut entirely. You consider the DM staples staples, but certain decks can't run every every yeah, card under the sun. It looks like, like Alifia wins 2-0. Pain. But yeah, as I was saying, like Megamorph decks, for example. I made I've made Mega a Megamorph deck for treasure format. Equip aggro in Android as well. Like, you cut the Forceful Sentry, strangely enough, as one of your options to cut. Oh, yeah, it's a powerful mm-hmm. card. So you look in the hand to put a card back, but you need to cut your life points. You need to be able to boost your Megamorph pressure. So you can still keep Confiscation and Delinquent Duo. And that still works. It's still good enough because... They're not essential. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's They're a lot, helpful. Yeah, it's 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 good and bad in the way that it's it's a lot more. Uh, you have to do a lot more thinking on the kinds of strong cards, but just you know, just power cards in general that you want in your deck. But it's also an issue that it does make the deck building a little bit harder and a little bit more samey in some regards to a lot of like similar cards and that's why i really do think like the ban yeah. list was like such an important thing for the game when they finally decided to do that even though it was for a, a multitude of other reasons it wasn't so bad early on like yugi kaiba i wouldn't say it's overly varied but it has a little variety in what you can do, even if it's relatively basic. Critter yeah. expands on that. A lot of that early on, Treasure... though, is also just because of the limited card pool, like, in general. like Yeah, in yeah. general. Yeah. It's, like, it, it's limited, and there's only so much you can do, so, so many ways you can play. Critter expands on that, but, like, you still have 
Exodia, mass control, fusion, even if it's just turbo fusion turbo. Jim Wife has left. As you go through, as you go through, the good stuff deck or the standard deck starts to surface for a reason. As over time, more and more powerful cards just show up until we get chaos, which technically isn't a standard deck, but it's the standard for chaos format. Yeah. So, Please, Yuri. Yo, Nino Globes, what's up? It's like GMYFS is uh, disconnected. Hopefully he, he comes back. Hopefully it's not like this. Yeah, but we're diverting a bit. If you want to filter through your deck, recruiters help with that. Mystic Tomato search is so popular because it searches into Sangan and Witch, which at a minimum filters through two cards, two monsters, which That's increases the odds of drawing a spell. Doesn't look like GMYFS is going to make it back in time. Well, in that case, Dual 2 belongs to Soul. So they open up and go to game three. Hopefully, uh, GMYFS can uh, get back into, into this. Here's the uh, current bracket. <clears throat> okay, GMYFS is trying to connect. better time than any to uh again uh, advertise the channel you know if, if you're new to this channel uh you know i do a lot of like retro Yu Gi Oh related and historical if. related uh videos uh upload fairly often i would say stream typically once a week okay it looks like his pc wi-fi died he's on his phone aye 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 uh, yeah, yeah, indeed. We wait patiently. Until then, yeah, that's what the, should we do? Well, that's the only uh, current match going on. Yeah, that's saying, what should we do? Hmm. We have a lot of hot air, so well, I guess, let's uh, put it to I, the audience, I guess. Yeah, I, I will. How about a fun little announcement? I am currently working on an OCG Series 4. For history video, I don't know what what maybe prompt to decided to do that because they usually require a lot of work. But series I, three just felt so bad <laughs> of an ending. That was such a long. That, my longest. That was an hour long video. I can't like that. Yeah, was yeah. I did that like, about a year ago, and I was like, well, because I was I was thinking around like six months time, like into the year, like maybe I'll do a not like something different than like the regular timeline and i wanted at least to get to uh like the goat format that to that summer 2005 era and i think i'm ahead enough in content for the next couple months because i'm i usually make my content like a, a month or two in advance where i'm like okay i could probably work on this um it's going to be about 28 minutes long so it's not going to be an hour <laughs> and it's not covering the entirety of series four but i think it, it should be that's a too video. much yeah that's yeah. way too much like the main thing was like is it's going to be covering goat format specifically i can always make another one where i cover i don't plan on covering every single ocg era or anything like that but i've at the very it's... least wanted to do this yeah it's a series three as mentioned before just ended on such a not the video itself. Video itself is pretty good content. It's just 
The ending is such a sour note. Chaos still exists? What are you talking about? Yeah, they... Yeah, series four, hey, issues arise or issues are still here, but uh, that that won't be until yeah, like, June. But I say, I'm you know, I'll, I'll announce it now for all the people that are you know watching the stream. Yeah, like okay, they should now be. Yeah, they do admitting have... defeat. Soul should admit defeat. Yeah, they and do have a new uh, dual thing open. Yep, they are discussing it in the chat. Why don't you get Zeds make a draw offer? Yeah, either that or Soul could just deliberately lose. RPS. Or side, yeah. That too. Dude, you should be a lot more popular on the Yugi Tube side. Thank you. Well, there, there's the inherent issue of Though it Yu -Gi -Oh! shouldn't be siding. You well, they shouldn't have drawn. It should one of them should have just admitted defeat. Yeah, so Soul should have admitted defeat. Yeah, defeat. So GMYFS could go first since he lost. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, um, sorry, I, I get distracted by like all these things I have to, I'm keep trying to keep track of. Ah, um, LFP, never mind, I already got called. Yeah, like the, sorry. the, the, the problem is that my channel, not only, Yu-Gi-Oh! is, is a niche, right, in card games, and it's not even like the most popular it's card a, game. <laughs> it's not the most popular, um, it's still it's, a relatively yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's still popular one. Yeah, it's still, uh you know popular but it's not quite you know it's like some other card games but it's also so i'm like not only like a niche of card games i'm also more of a niche on like the Yu-Gi-Oh side because if you look at like the big Yu-Gi-Oh channels it's all modern stuff talking about you know current up-to-date things that people want to be up to date about in which i don't really have that more so on my educational is in historical purposes so this is more of a of, of a service for the game than for the individual person, but I guess it all kind of hint there. But hey, who's to say? I believe in my abilities. I've been doing YouTube for long enough, before like even before I was doing Yu-Gi-Oh content. So, you know, I like to push my Patreon <laughs> for people who want to join, help support the channel. As low as two dollars a month, get access to early bird videos, special updates, and exclusive videos, which I've been doing a little more on occasion. Yeah, the chain energy, three chain energy in the grave. People bring out the sauce. Oh boy. Okay. I don't know if they saved, so I saved the first game. So game three. Okay. Ah, yeah, he is on germ burn. Germ burn. Made it. Has made it pretty far. So germ burn might actually yeah. be a viable burn deck still. Yeah. So this. So anyone who's just jumping in, this is game three, because uh, GMYFS disconnected. Speaking of Germ Germ City. Yeah. Fiber format punishes this stuff. Like exiled force existing just makes it harder. Ooh, oh. Which yeah, avoids the burn damage. This. And but because in this it's format, a sand gain, you get a search. Yeah. A slower format. Because Mirage, yeah, draws four cards, but it can also discard four cards. And games just simply are grindier, slower. One charity as well, instead of two. It's slower. Yeah, Seaspare is still... 
Yeah, C Sparrow is saying great pample choice target. Never wants to draw that later. Yeah, yeah that's that's nice he thing. Has a magician of faith. Yeah, that's the great thing about painful because... choice is that if you get choice early on in the game, you can just dump a lot of cards that would benefit you to just get rid of right away, thin your deck out. Like it's it's such it's it's such an incredible card, especially as time goes on um, and like it, it's unless it gets an errata, it's never coming off the ban list. Ever. Ever. Like we sure. Like we got we got You're this at insane. home and it's called Future Fusion and that had to get eroded. So long. Like Future Fusion only got banned because dragons they just kept updating dragons and yeah. making dragons they, stronger and stronger. They they couldn't get rid of them. <laughs> no. We've been seeing a lot but of getting these... rid of Future Fusion did get rid of Chaos Dragons, so it's not that bad. Yeah, we we've, we've been seeing a they lot of these got replaced dragon rulers. Yeah, which I'm uh I'm about to get to, uh, which by the way on my Patreon the next Yu-Gi-Oh history is available. Um, it's been two weeks early, but I guess now it's a it's a week early because I'll be on the seventh, and then I will be getting <laughs> the dragon rulers. Um, well, with the OCG series four video, dragon rulers probably won't be until the summer, but research is probably going to take place soon for that era so that's that's exciting funny thing future fusion has always been busted at some level that's why it originally got put to one in the first place it was just op basically you paired it with like overload fusion for chimera tech you know it's the chimera tech over otk mm -hmm. but in the ocg it was just so much stronger because they also had gold sarcophagus so future fusion could be searched easily. While in the TCG, you have to do something like ancient gear drill to get it set and then hope you have true nade. And if you don't have true nade, you have to hope they can't destroy it, etc. Yeah, future fusion is like yeah, it's it was one of those cards that when they finally hit it, it was because it was yeah, it was pretty much in like every deck that could run it, like would absolutely run it. Like I believe it was the same list that hit that and like Brionac. It was just kind of being like, all right, like we we just got to get rid of these cards. It's 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 too, it's a bit much at this point. Like they they at least gave it a good run <laughs> before you know eventually bringing it back and rotting it. But the exile take care of Jin's. I was gonna say earlier we've been seeing a lot of a uh, plays where they chain call to reborn, which is definitely a, a really cool play. Because you, because remember, folks at home, you do have to select your target for reborn before they're actually revived. So you can use Call of Haunted to be like, all right, you want to bring back my card, I'm going to bring it back first. Which reborn doesn't get like retargeting, so it will it'll just fizzle. Basically, that's what happens. Big brain plays. Draw Sorry, it got pulled away really oh, quick. All good. As Rush. I was saying about that, like, there's also something else you can do with Future Fusion other than machines. Because Dragon's Mirror exists at the same time. Oh, yeah. Reveal five-headed dragon, dump that, and then... Dump Blue Eyes, Victory Dragon, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Then use... Use Dragon's Mirror to banish dragons... Get back the victory dragon somehow, then dimension fusion. V Dora control anybody? <laughs> More like OTK, but that existed too. Though it wasn't is like the second best version of future fusion use. Machines are just more consistent. Yeah, I remember there was V Dora control in like later series for OCG. Yeah, like immediately after go. Yeah, which I, I'm I'm excited to. I I might do like a whole separate video just on that, but I guess we'll see. I, yeah, I'm sure. You I'm also sure, have MCV. I'm sure I will do like a part two of series four at some point. I don't know if I'll actually do a series five, but it's still GX. Might end it there though, because five Ds. 
I think it depends how interested I am and people are in it. I feel like people are more interested in C in series three because I really haven't gotten much asking for like series four. It's been like once in a blue moon someone will ask like, "Hey, series four, but yeah, the thing certainly with series certainly four after, is certainly after series we, two, people were like, "We're I want three. <laughs> yeah, after series three, basically. We have the international series, which is Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon, LOB, Two Ancient Sanctuary. The mm. first three series of Yu-Gi-Oh! is basic. That's all condensed together into that for the TCG. So we don't have the new ruler. We don't have their Pharaoh servant. We don't have all of those extra sets. It all got condensed. So people are curious what the OCG was just like back then. But we do have Soul of the Duelist, Rise of Destiny, mm -hmm. Flaming Eternity, Lost Millennium, all of that. For the most part, we have the same sets from like from that point on, 2004. What's different are the lists. Yeah, there's like a lot of differences like in the in the game. I mean, like the carpool alone is different. Like if you took this 2003 Yada format from the TCG, like the August 2003 list, and just went overseas, it it'd be a whole other other thing. It actually might be competitive. Like after Exchange of the Spirit finally got decapitated, yes, it deserves that term. It's a horrible deck. It's basically Exodia and Chaos tier in terms of catastrophe for the game. The game should have died again, yeah, but it I didn't because Yu-Gi-Oh! is so popular. Yeah, I remember when Exchange of Spirit first came out in the in the TCG, and I got it from a Shonen Jump promo, right? Like I, I remember getting that that Shonen Jump book and just being like, oh my god, I can like I, I definitely instantly made a deck around it and just play with some of my friends, like, ha, hey, I can just flip the graveyard. Ooh, ceasefire yeah. pops up though. That will immediately jet itself in and a lot of Ooh. burn damage. Negating the Worst. spy. Clicking a hefty 3k and then a dark hole. But an Imperial I, uh, Order shuts it off, but an MST, MST says no thank you. Go back to your throne room, sir. Yowie, wowie. And then a tomato Game will push. this clean up? And yep, it will, that looks that's like here, it. Oh. There's creature swap. GG's. GMYFS GMI, GMI, pulls it out. Man, should get back. Jim Bird. He, yeah, even though he had that one game loss from the disconnection, he was able to jump back into things. For a two-one, two-one victory. Okay. Yep. I'll take care of this really quick. First room, which means GMY Web GMY FS will move on to face Aratos. While Alifia gets to chill out for a bit. Loving all these these chains. Yeah, they've really been uh putting in work. All right. Oh. Because of the nature of double elimination, we're finally together in the same room. Hey. So yeah, this has been like a kind of pretty wild tournament thus far. I think it's been like a really good amount of people. You know, obviously we can't see everyone in every single match, but we've been seeing a lot of really cool decks, a lot of really cool duels going on here. And again, all the duels will be posted in the replays in the Tournament Reports channel on my Janjo Tombs Discord. So if anyone's watching this uh, right now or the video on demand oh, no. after the fact. I've disconnected. Oh, no. Okay, back oh. in. 
It was just yeah. a weird thing. Yeah, I have to refresh my page too. Maybe just, I guess maybe if you're on too long, just watching. <laughs> maybe they're just refreshing themselves. Who's to say? Yeah, it looks like GMIFS is currently on his way while Seaspare and Alifia get to hang out and recoup some of their well-earned victories for a bit. How's the chat doing? Everyone doing all right over there? I think it's been a pretty fun and successful Yada lives. We still, we still got a ways to go, but I think it's turning out pretty gosh darn well, I would say. I was back and forth when I when I wanted to have this tournament originally because, you know, I planned it about a month ago. It was either I could have it, like, really soon, which I didn't really want to do a month away, or, like, a month and a half away, which I was like, uh, maybe, but I didn't, I didn't want to wait that long, personally. So I felt like, you know, a roughly month's time, yeah. a good amount of time for people to... The room's open, by the way. Oh, excellent. Skate go got flipped. Nice. Oh, I gotta change it to watch. My bad. I was I was under the dual mode. But there's scapegoat. Pot of green tomato. Heart. Change of heart the face. Had a magician face. Or was bait successful? Ah uh, a fiber jar. Ooh. That's just gonna. It's okay. Although it is during his turn, so he still has the chance to reset uh, yeah. his field. It's, yeah, it's the start of the duel. It's not that bad. No, no. At least that, not right now. Yeah, that's the least of your concerns at this moment. And and Ugh. hey, he gets back a grace also. All the better for Aretos. Michael says, "Can't wait for the next one." Honestly, I'm gonna be testing. Hey, yeah. Uh, you know, again, I don't know what format it'll be. I don't know when it will be, but. I'm sure eventually, you know, just have to be in my Discord and follow the channel and all that stuff. Lily and Lily doesn't have serpent, so no. What will be discard? Tomato, tomato, Lily and a tomato, and then a duo. duo. Ripping. Two Are we cards. watching a goat format duel or something? There's oh, he hits the <laughs> serpent. I guess it didn't really matter. That is wonderful. He would have discarded it anyway, but the fact that he had the serpent to begin with is sure something. And then the witch, just Ooh. for posterity's sake, will punch in for a soft but still damaging 1104 a mirage of nightmare. MST, which it looks like he didn't gets even it give off. him a chance. But GM YFS is letting it through, so it's fine. Yeah, so we'll play some more Yada format. It's so fun. You know, like a, a big part of me choosing this format in particular is because I think it's such a phenomenal format that does not get nearly enough love as a lot of other formats. You know, a lot of people see each era of Yu-Gi-Oh! as like a single format. Like, hey, you know, GOAT is the DM era format. Edison, you know, that kind of stuff. But really, like, there's there's way yeah. more games to be had in a variety of formats that are still really good formats that are still a ton of fun, as we've been seeing with Yada Lives. Yeah, the right sense of busted stuff all mixed together in a way that doesn't make it that kind of neutralizes it is a good way to say it. Like there are some cars that are just horrible, like Imperial Order. Yeah, but and... generally it's not that bad. Yeah, like blowout games can still happen. There's still a lot of dumb stuff, but that's just the nature of card games, right? Sometimes you're gonna you're gonna sack, and that's just how it the cookie crumbles. Adds back the Jinto. Oh, I should get some crumble cookies. Anyone have ever been to a crumble cookies? I think I have. Highly recommend. Oh, it's Zone these, Mirage. It's just these giant, way too sugary cookies. It's great. All right. Now we have to see. Double MST. Mirage. MST. Discard. Nope. No. Exile. Exile. The Bazoo. Bazoo. The Soul Eater. And I. And Imperial oh. Order. I owe oh, no. And then GMYFS 
gets all. I wonder what yes. GMYFS stands for. I don't know if you know, but. Oh, I know what it stands all right, for. Right, Geki. Yeah. Get money, Yugi. Leaf set up. Oh. <laughs> It's not what it actually stands oh, for. Oh, someone made up for it. I I could believe that, and but it's cool. Magic so, cylinder. get money. All right. Maybe. Well, screw the rules. I guess need to MST this. The two can be afforded. But there it is. Anyway. Yeah. And My we know MST, the, uh, and we know the IO the is in the garage instead. Yeah, we know the IO is in the the grave. Yeah. Pot agreed. Oh, that is why. Yeah, don't need Mirage. If it wasn't a, a great hand, it might have been worth it to just destroy the opponent's Mirage just to keep card advantage because you already have it. But I guess just getting deeper into the deck or catching up. Snatch. Wow. He who snatcheth, stealeth. Genzo. Tributes oh, for yeah, Jinzo, the psychic yeah, like this... android shocker. Yeah, the recruiters are bad. Snatch deal chain snatch deal targets. Yeah. Because like cre cre creature swap is really good because it pairs so well with so many cards, especially the recruiters. You mm -hmm. steal a beater, give them a recruiter, hit the recruiter, float into another recruiter and get a direct attack. And get yep. two monsters instead of one. That's just one way of doing it. But snatch deal is basically doing that while yeah. potentially There's boosting the, the opponent's life points. Yeah, if you just steal, like we saw with the tomato, you contribute over it and ignoring the the effect of the tomato, which is great. Yes, that's the best way to use Snatch Deal on a recruiter. Just get rid of it entirely. But now, Eratos has the card advantage. Yeah, and there's a lot of ways to deal with Jinzo in this format, too. Even though it is definitely scary when you see it because it turns off a lot of powerful traps, including you know Imperial Order and Blast with Chain, yeah. Ring of Destruction. You can destroy it with ways of Exile Force, Injection Fairy Lily. If you're if you're running Baz with the Soul Eater, you can do it that way. Uh, possibly you know you got Snatch Steel, Dark Hole, Raigeki. If you side in a Fissure, or if you're main decking it, okay. A change of Heart just can also just yeah. yeah. Get a it doesn't of get rid damage. of it, but thirty-eight yeah. is a lot. It's almost half the life points right there. A change of heart wins this reborn. game. Reborn, selecting oh, something. Uh, what? Oh, he got. Oh. His, he stole the exiled force. Yeah. Okay. But and now, uh, snatch steel to win the game. Yes, five cards on Raiders' side, set and pass. They're both living on low life points, dual oh, kingdom life points. But a creature swap, and there it is Speaking for of. game one. Speaking of the power of creature swap, there's a reason it's at two. Yeah, GMYFS <laughs> wins the first game, and reminder: whoever wins this game moves on to face against C Spare. And the winner of that will go on to face Alifia in the Loser's winners' finals. Yeah. Yeah, so we're, yeah, we're seeing a good well, deal. It, of it, well, it would be the winners' finals when they face against Alifia. Yeah, we're seeing a good deal of variety indeed, Soul. Like, it's not just we're watching Gear Freed mirrors and I'm falling asleep or declaring how boring it is. Yeah, there's like you're seeing a variety of decks, and uh, you know, with with Soul, you know, we saw a a tribute Cold Wave deck. Uh, you know, a V Sox. You know, he was playing a a Machine Reasoning OTK deck. Like we've seen a lot of variety. Uh, there was a, a Relinquished deck we we saw too. Like it, it has not certainly been just like Gear Freed or or Hand Control. It's been a, a bunch of different decks. Yeah, unfortunate we had didn't see goat control. Yeah, but we have seen scapegoat in, in some decks be used. Like, scapegoat does yeah. have its own utility, even if it's just used as a more defensive card, or you know, possibly something with a couple other things here and there. Yeah, 
waiting in the side deck. Trying to think, because, you know, there's only so many things you can have in your side deck, right? There are 15 card side deck. So what, what do you side in against a burn deck? Wangu. King Tiger. Wangu is good against this deck. Like, the germs don't have the advantage Momanga does. So... Though Creature Swap can mitigate this. All right, here we enter game two. Aretos will go first. Going right for the hand rip with the Forceful Sentry, shuffling back one card from hand into their deck. A what strong card. Will it be? Yeah, we don't know what the hand is, but depending on it, it can either be a, a simple choice or it can be a very difficult choice. Also, depending on what Aretos yeah. has in hand himself. Some hands are just ridiculous. See, uh, Crazy. Soul says it's hard to figure out who to root for since all the decks would be Pot cool agree. to see win. Yeah, Pot agrees a good pick than any. Yeah, well, there's a ton of great duels. I just want to see good duels at the end of the day. Really, that's that's what matters for me. Have a nice back and forth, you know, not have like one one sided thing, but just nice skillful duels. I guess Eritus doesn't have a great hand. Yeah, but de denying GYF is a pot of greed, at least for now, at least yeah. saves him a a plus one. Also Slightly more further in the deck, more likely to Ooh. Ah There's a face. That's what he's doing. Get graceful. Just making sure his hands where he wants it. So we can have a more knowledgeable oh. pick when he decides to use a possible hand rip card. Yeah. GMYFS also has a very simplified board too. It's like discarding coffee and Feather Duster. Interesting. And there's the Raigeki. Seeing what that giant germ. Yeah, anyway, you can get rid of that thing by card effect. You would definitely want to. And there's the Forceful yet again. Yeah, basically using Sentry like you use Time Seal. Except you're just keeping GMYFS at, from going further into the deck. Mm-hmm. So what has been shown? Creature, Creature swap? swap. Which means a Genzo might be coming down. Or, or that. Ooh, Spirit Reaper. Deadly. Gets a, another hand rip. Now this is hand Tomatoes destruction. Gone. Yeah. And then a duo oh. just to say, hand, what hand? I don't see no jars. Broke yes, both it's... jars like a bull in a china shop. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. And there's the oh, Jinzo. Jinzo. This is a very strong yeah. uh, few turns from Aretos. That charity by itself Mirage. did enough. Yeah. This is, a, this is over. It's over. There's no way. Well, I won't say it's over till it's over, but it's definitely a strong start. There's the Mirage. Looks like no MST. Randomly discarding the tomato, tomato, the mirror force, mirror force, which you can't use under Jinzo, and, and the exile, exile force. force. Strong cards, so, but we'll see how Arados works without them. We'll finally be allowed to draw. Yeah, decides not to attack with the Spirit Reaper. Just keeps that in defense mode. So ahead, it's ridiculous. I that's becoming a catchphrase now. All right, keep one. Keeps this card, this card's another tomato. Call, call the haunted a serpent. serpent. All right, got into that and time a time seal. seal. So Basically, having... excellent discards. Ooh, and for... then the Gemini Elf. And then switches Reaper to attack and says, let's just go for it. Cyberjar! Oh! oh, look at that.
look at all those jars in the grave of every flavor. Oh. We see an Oscar Priest. can't Pries. summon anything. Ooh. He can't summon a thing. And like I said, I wouldn't Mirage say it's is... over. Yeah. I was not expecting Cybejar to come out like that. Cybejar could have saved the game. Yeah. But this... I wasn't thinking it either, absolutely. but it makes perfect sense. Yeah. This absolutely lets him stay in the game. And now he can search two cards if Mirror Force is used. I mean, look at this. You don't get this Which in Which has goats. been discarded. You, you only, you only yeah. get this in Yada format, really. I like pressure can get put on now. 2100 at the very least. Snatching his fissure. Osra, TT Fissure. Yeah, yeah Fissure fissure. will just activate. It'll get rid of Sangam, but it'll trigger Sangam's effect. And get further into the deck. Because, uh, you know, for those watching, uh, you know, these are the errata text. But if you're playing historical formats, they play with their original effects. So you can use effects of Sangam, the, the turn that the cards are even. At. Even with the original effect, even with the new effects, you're adding a card that you're not going to be using until the next turn. Right, yeah. Like for Santa now, it wouldn't matter, but, you know, just, yeah. just in cards in general do have their original effects. Um, you know, barring, you know, like the, the ruling change for like Kaiku and Bazoo and Skull Layer. They have their original effects here, but there is a TCG version of Yada format, which has those three cards with those effects for the last time. Yeah, and this tournament yeah, so is following these... the the world's list, the world's uh Yeah, and the OCG rules. Yeah. So he's going ahead, Fisher, that Sangan, just... He, T -T, mm. he wants to TT, I guess. Mm, possibly. But... But it doesn't matter that much because he can just flip the giant germ and go in for 21 anyway if you tt that the witch will search something set Let's definitely put a rados on the the other foot after that very powerful and impactful cyber jar sucking everything into Two space cards. yeah io is unlikely to be set at the moment so attacking, he won't play into tt yeah, attacking to which for 1100 that gets through main two checks the graveyard making sure he's making a well-educated play doesn't have to do anything monster wise and just keep things as they are mm-hmm Sets a card and passes. End phase a tornado. tornado, a ring there of goes destruction. The ring. Yep, that's that's gone. And Emising, there's the MST for the for the Mirage. So he keeps his two cards. And then Pot of Greed's nice. You definitely want to keep that one. So many cards in deck. Such a huge advantage currently. Yep. He does have options, but if you notice, his deck's getting a little low. He only 10 cards left in Aredos' deck. Yeah. He's heavily favored to win this match, though. We got that Fiber Jar. We and haven't yes. seen any other jars in, a priest. in play. Yeah, Sir Priest can punch over two if, if he so chooses to. Three, if the Giant Germ gets brought out to thin the deck further. Possibly, yes. Basically, he needs to do that. It's risky, but he... Has Ring been used yet? No. Has not been used on a Raiders' side. Yes. TT is set. Basically, he's setting up so he can get further into the deck. So he doesn't draw another germ or something like that. Think, thinking about this attack. Or uh, 
no, he's no, he's thinking about the the add on from the witch rather. Yeah, what, what, yeah, there's a lot you can add add from the witch, especially in a in a more of a uh, burn deck, where a lot of your cards don't have high attack and defenses. But there's Jinzo. Jinzo does have low enough defense. And there's the giant, giant germ, germ, which will inflict 500, we'll 500. Plus damage and special summon at l the only other one because the other one has was in the graveyard that was destroyed early on with the Raigeki, I believe. Uh, Ooh, there's the magic cylinder protecting the giant germ, trying to ensure that we could possibly see Jinzo and at that same point, why... Not use it if you're gonna try and get out of Jinzo. Monster Reborn has yet to be used. That will be game if that happens because. Hmm. Yeah, it'll be game if that happens because. The Eratus' life points will be low enough. And there's Ring of Destruction. I'm gonna pop that Asura Functionally freeze. the same thing. Yeah. But you ensure that so you that GMYFS they both get that... is now in danger. Yeah, you ensure that even more danger. Yeah, you ensure GMYF takes that that not just seven hundred damage, but seventeen hundred damage. Yes. This is probably the deciding turn. Possibly so. What will he do? He does has a giant germ on field. 300 life points, though, so that kind of blocks him out of using certain cards. One set card. And is this going to do attack and just say, all right, let's just go for it. Set, set, I set, don't... and pass. No, that's a good idea. We'll see if it pays, out, pays off for him. Rados draws during his turn the Dark Hole, which will clear the germ, and a set Spirit the Reaper. Reaper. A lot of cards in the grave, so if you have something that interacts with the grave, all the better. Reborn. Because you don't need that much life points to end, end the game there it is. from a direct attack. It's reborn, and there it is. Target Jinzo. So Rados pulls out yeah. a victory, so now we're at 1-1. One, one. I had a feared Io there. Yeah, very very good, good game at, at the moment. I wonder if GMYFS decided to not tribute for Jinzo in in favor of setting a monster to have a little more bodies on the field just in case. Yes, at that point, it attacking might have not been for the best considering Reborn was live and Jinzo was in the graveyard. Right, right. Up again, we are in losers semifinals. Winner will face off against C Spear. So only a couple more rounds left. Yeah, that cyber jar really just changed the the, the game. I mean, even though Arados was still able to pull it around it definitely created a a new uh phase in the game than what was before it helped quite a bit and we saw with just all the other powerful jars that were in the graveyard like fiber jar and morphine jar like you got, you got all these jars in in this and you know while they they are limited they are still very powerful Indeed. Get it. 
even stronger this format for empty jar we have three book of tayu and book of moon yeah especially with cyber jar especially when you're facing against uh, a card like jinzo it's it's a great out to it as we've seen in uh previous formats it's, i mean essentially it's just a flip dark hole more or less pretty much so for all the marbles let's go so uh gm will go first takes his draw sets sets Mirage and Nightmare. Man, we're seeing so many Mirage and Nightmares. It's only it's, it's like this card like has to exist every every game. And a chain energy drops ah. down. Deadly, deadly. You know, on my my Thursday stream, I was playing that my Greykeeper burn deck, and you, know, you could see in that duel just how powerful chain can get, especially as you Painful. if you're if you're especially as if you're able to compound the burn and it just it's a big snowball that if you're playing against it you definitely want to try to avoid that style but a charity this card is MS... better than any yeah you mst that thing as soon as possible you get rid of it it's should not be allowed to be on the field but gmyfs has also put eritos in a not so good situation so yeah. it could be mitigated with Sentry if MST has been drawn. Yeah, but and GM also has to play likely, with the I, Chain Energy, too. Yeah, more than likely, I think it's already set if he did this. Yeah, very much possible. You definitely do want to do all your cards first before you activate Chain Energy, because otherwise you'll be uh, taking a lot of unnecessary damage. Yeah, it, Aratos doesn't have MST, or else he probably would have activated it to get rid of that chain energy. Right now, he's being forced to... Not really forced, but he's making the choice to just take the damage. Yeah, he's going to send back that Cyberdarth saying, I saw what that did last game. I do not want to see that guy again. And just get it back. with. This is a tomato deck, so I could just get it back later, if need be. Potentially. But the fact that there's 500 more, but the fact that MST wasn't sent back means GMYFS doesn't have... Oh, why? All right, well, thank you, Michael, for uh, sticking around. Uh, you know, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Got to keep the fiancé happy. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Cooksey. You know, if you're going to want to watch this in the future, it will still be available on my channel, so you can always just come back to this and continue on it. on a later day. Oh, take the f another... Oh, never mind, it was set. I'm being dumb. All right, does he MST? 2,500? Yep, yes. MST. Top deck. Nice. I completely missed what has gotten off the sand gun. Was not paying attention myself. I was busy looking at chat when when that happened. But we yes, do have a tomato time. on field, which tomato is good. A monster reborn. Reborn. Targeting is Sangan or Gemini Elf. It looks like Gemini Elf. The opponent's Gemini Elf. Another yeah, five hundred for us. Oh. Seal. He is just paying those pricing. Ah. I don't care if I got to pay it. I'm going to use my cards because try and get in that hefty damage. Furthermore, it makes chain energy. Ooh, -hoo. Mirror Force. You activated my trap yeah. card. That's a, that's Utterly a forced trait. him to destroy his own monsters. Yeah. But hey, now you got to do it. Yeah. It had to do it because chain energy becomes even more of a death sentence the lower the life points go. Yeah, like you don't mind paying 500 here and there, but you don't want it to get to a point where you're really in a deficit and it really starts affecting game moves. Yeah, this is why chain energy is so powerful. It's such a stupid so, card. <laughs> Not that stupid. Yeah, it, it's a continuous spell card, so it's easily disposable. I'm just waiting for someone to start playing Dark Snake Syndrome. Hmm. 
but it's definitely punishing the longer it's allowed to stay on the field. Yeah, especially when you start wanting to do like combos and, and stuff. It's like, let alone if you start seeing more on field. Because if you got three of this guy on field, that's 1500 per card. Uh, C Spear says is. Chain Energy eats MSTs where they are usually safe for Snatch, Mirage, and IO. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting magnet of a card. But that dust won't Ooh. take care of it. That's why Dust Tornado is basically a staple side deck card for things like this. Stall, Chain Energy Burn. Yeah, it goes to show you, even, even with three MSTs, you know, when you have cards like Io and all these powerful traps, you still need potentially even more back row removal, even with when you have cards like Heavy Storm and Harpy's Feather Duster. Correct. No more mirror force. So creature swap. Oh! So like, give me this that works, face by down. the way. This works, by the way. Let's see. This will be twenty. Oh no! Nope. The imperial the order. The king Has says to. no. So against Burn, Io is... Huh? Oh, never mind. Oh, probably misclick there. Io yes, can also be a double-edged sword. See, now 700 more will be paid because it doesn't want to dispose of the Mirage yet. Right. Or you could just get rid of it, MSD the Mirage, and just yeah. Keep it, going. it depends what Arados has in hand and like what he wants to decide to do for this turn. You know, Dylan Ramirez, what's yes. up? Just started a new job. Oh, congrats! My oh, first commission check will be on. getting all the Yada cards I don't have Dark yet. Hole. Yeah, I got got to jump on that before he gets. This is not a mar market watch. I hate market watches. This is not a market watch, <laughs> but. Def definitely build those Yada decks, so a lot of a lot of fun cards. You know, uh, you know, a lot of these cards are probably never coming off the ban list or not for a very long time. So might as well jump on now. But yeah, congrats on the uh, the new gig. See so a dark hole. I no Io, I guess. Yeah, that that'll just and now a strong Eric... plus one. Mm. Yeah, it's not Sangan, so... Yeah, you get rid of Utterly two monsters cute. that that are best off being destroyed by, by card effects without destroying any arrow monsters. Yeah, it's, it's a solid full. So what will he pick from here is the question. It's a fairly open board, but he's way up on card advantage. Yes. Life, uh, unfortunately for Aratos, he's down on life points, so it's not as major of an advantage right now. Yeah, that chain energy Unless put a lot of work. Unless he drops Yada right this second. Oh. In which case, oh no. We have seen one Yada no lock Yada. so far in the, the tournament, but yeah, we saw how much yeah. effort that chain energy put in by itself. Yeah, pretty strong. And there, oh, oh there's the knock. There's there, oh, a Asura Priest. Possibly a, a a bluff. Maybe just use as as a quick little protection. Either way, it gets hit. Either way, that was the. I think that was the last card. Oh, chain energy. Number two. Another scary card, especially when you have Mirage and Nightmare, because then it's like, well, what What do I, if I get an MSC, what's the best way to use this? Yes. We're seeing this card just put in work. The best continuous spell card in the game. That's yeah. not Mirage. There's the MSC oh, he's saying. Just uh, oh, and another MST saying, get rid of that, get rid of that. 
probably just saving up his resources just for that. And then the knock will come out and slash this card in two, which is a Sinister Serpent, which is a once replenishing well of resources is now nothing more than a card in the Forbidden Zone. But a lot of sets on the field, it's all... It's a, it's a field reminiscent of Subterror currently. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. as this tournament's Damn going on, hard. we're really starting to see these, uh, like the higher skilled duelists really, you know, challenge each other with these very different, very powerful decks. All right. Arito a... should be taking 500 now because of chain energy. Jinzo! There's Jinzo. There's a chance it won't matter, though. You know, he had the MST on the field, though, right? Like the original MST? I think it was from hand, if I remember properly. I thought it was on field, maybe I'm mistaken. But if... Maybe, maybe that's a book of moon, I don't know, but if it's a trap, it's useless in the face of Jinzo, which shuts off all traps and their activations. Yeah, yeah. Seaspare says one was set and the yeah. other came after from the hand. Yeah. So we're Rado's just seeing... Good. Oh, going for game. Yep. Yep. Boom. Shakalaka. GG. Uh, ex excellent duel between the two. Yeah, uh, just for two unfortunate one, that Rado's. double MST. Yeah, it was definitely like so you, you definitely saw a skill like playing around that burn deck. Like it's a scary deck, but just saving your resources yeah. for that like way to push through definitely turned out in uh, Rados's favor. Just getting the cards you need, like that double MST, just won the game easily. Yeah, now Aratus will go on to losers finals to face C Spare. Aratus says, "Give him two minutes." More airtime. Yep. Let's see what to do. What to I'm gonna about. grab some water, so I will be right back. Water is important. Okay. Stay hydrated. All right, I'll man the fort, I guess. We're alone. We're alone. How's everyone doing today? Or tonight, or wherever you live. Uh, you're just awaiting Eratos and Vatos now? Or Vatos? Or whatever. Yeah, true. It's really interesting. That's all I'll say for now. But yeah. Nobody answered the question. I guess everyone's doing horribly. Sad. Just checking on it. Our two combatants. Atos has a room open already. Boom. Duel has started. All right, I'm back. All right, let me jump into that. I left my water over there. All right, in the duel. 
All right, we got Aretos versus v- Veto- <laughs> Aretos and Vatos. <laughs> welcome Aretos back, and Vatos. The Sox. Yeah, welcome back. Just tuned in to back in the stream. Oh yeah, no, Leaf has been putting a lot of work. As as of really, every, everyone here has been doing a great job uh, in this tournament thus far. We just finished a really great duel. Um, that was that was between uh, Ratos and GMYFS. But Darren now we are Darren in got the, eliminated in the losers semis. Yeah, now we are in the losers finals, and the winner of this will go on to face Alifia in the winners finals and possibly grand finals. Yeah, Jaron Byrne won the last tourney, and it did well here as as it did well here too. So. Yeah. Maybe it actually is worth something as a deck competitive wise. I mean, it shows you can put in the effort. Um, you know, burn strategy is definitely viable. You know, I was even though my my gravekeeper burn deck is is a bit on the jankier side, it it still shows the strength that burn can have in, in a variety yeah. in a variety of builds. Um, Soul says this looks is... like reasoning decks got some love. A shame neither of them made it. Yeah. Well, at least they got love, though. I mean, they can still pull out games. So it's, I guess it's like, yeah. similar to reasoning in general, like reasoning gate, kind of like yeah. that, and as a whole. <laughs> yeah, the main issue with reasoning is its randomness. Yeah, high risk, high high you reward. Could... Yeah, because it's so random. Like, yeah, there's a level you're going to guess. There's no doubt about that. But you're not guaranteed to hit that level, and something else might be summoned. Like reasoning mm. works really well with limiter removal, machine OTK style, because it can win games so quickly. Yeah, that's why look- next format mm-hmm. you see magical scientists use reasoning. It just quickly gets through the deck potentially. Yeah, that limiter removal is so strong because you do have such a variety of machines to work with, right? Mechanical chaser is pretty solid. Barrel Dragon, if you want to play something like Time Eater, you can. Like, you, you got you got options to pick from, which which I definitely enjoy. We see uh, Vato's just, like, picking apart the board with the knock on the Sangan, the, the Confi on the, the Yada Garasu. You know, as Jim YFS says, uh, Vato's is from my locals. And, like, that that's really cool. It's always cool when you have people that are, like, you know, pretty competent at Yu-Gi-Oh!, that kind of go out of their way to do kind of more non-standardized ev- events. You know, like um, like there's a Speed Duels channel that goes to my locals. That's you know, always kind of fun to see. The Painful Choice. Faith Exiled Forceful Serpent. So adding back the serpent makes sense to me. There's the jar of greed I mentioned earlier. Yeah. This is still playable in this format, though less so. Yeah, keep in mind, Yada cannot be special summoned, so you cannot reborn or call a haunted or premature it. So unless there's a fiber jar or you steal another one for a turn, it's... It's exchange. Gone. Oh, possibly exchange. Uh, I would be very oh. surprised if you saw that. But a TT makes will little to no difference. Splash because... the board away from monsters. Doesn't Ooh, matter. Don- Don- Donald Z anyway. sniping a card similar fashion to a Spirit Reaper, but dealing a little more damage and hitting the Dark Hole. Bang, bang. Or should it be slash, Ooh. slash? Well, I guess in the, o- the OCG art is the guns, but the TCG art is the, the swords. Yeah, fun thing about this format. We can talk about them both. Yeah, the thing with Dueling Books is that you can pick either art. Same thing with Gemini Elf with its uncensored art. Basically, that might be nothing. Yeah, I mean, against uh, Don Luke, you pretty much have to set what you can. Yeah, Spirit Reaper as well. Like, Batos is just on hand control, tomato stuff. 
Yeah, yeah. We need something to like Photoshop Don Zaluk with uh, one gun and one sword. I think that's the uh, the fair mix. Call the haunts of the Jinzo. It sounds like, and that's it. That spells doom for Arados. Yeah, this is why hand control was considered such a powerful deck in the old days. Look at what it just did here. Destroyed the hand. Opponent is stuck. Useless. Can't do anything. Yeah, we, we've really been seeing just how much work Jinzo puts puts in. It's just shutting off a lot of traps, a lot of outs to a lot of cards. Indeed. Uh, so, yes, we do have Don's, the Don Zalug Lost Art. It was kind of weird because I remember when they announced it, it kind of just they seemingly forgot about it for a long time because I couldn't find like any information on it for like months after the fact. And I saw there's a couple of like foreign prints of it, but it was like only a few online, but it is more available now. So short answer. Yes. <laughs> you you can get the lost art of Don's Luke as well Very as strange. pod Deaths and Gemini elf and ring of destruction. A lot of cards that you can play in this format do have lost art versions. I don't think we have Injection yes. Fairy Lily yet, though. That that would be a fun. We're one. never getting Injection Fairy Lily. Uh one one can hope. We do have Lesser Fiend. Yeah, you can play that in, in Fiend decks. Uh, Barrel Dragon. We have Barrel Dragon. We have the safe stuff. Yeah. So, <laughs> no Shining Angel. Already on the nose. All right, tomatoes. No. Yeah, I'm. I'm a little surprised we haven't got Mystic Tomato yet. I think Tomato. So and... they did. They did feel safe enough to do send you of the thousand hands. Yeah, I was about to say they did send you. So I don't know why they haven't done Tomato yet. But I'm yeah, sure... Tomato. I don't know, but they haven't done Graceful Charity or Shining Angel, just because of a simple Halo. Yeah, they they get them slowly but surely, so I'm I'm sure at some point like, we'll get. There's a chance we ones. never get them. Yeah, there's definitely a a, a chance they they don't release them fast enough. But I do got to pick up some though. I I have a couple, like singleton copies, but not not too many. I have like elf, legendary fisherman, barrel dragon, hot desk. I think that might be all I have. Currently, I was I was certainly like Monster Reborn or like Offerings to the Doomed. Send you. Ooh, flips the fiber jar. Broccoli Rocky gets hit by the God's hand himself, saying, "Get back down there, son." I believe we did get Lost Art Solemn Judgment too, though, with the Halos. No, I don't think we did. Same reason. We can't show Christian iconography sure. or images. I feel like we got... Yeah, yeah, we got Solemn Judgment Lost Start. I'm not crazy. Did? Yeah. Here, and... I'll, here I'll, I'll, I'll link you it. I definitely remember getting it. Or like you know, not you know, not me getting it, but you know, general. Yeah, not impossible. We'll start slow, exactly. I dream minds to get all the oh, lost arts, happen. even though there is a chunk of, uh, of change there. Yeah, I kind of wish they just released like, a like a like a side set, of of lost art. You know, like a, like a master collection book kind of thing, or if they included them like in sets, right? Like you had to buy sets to get lost art that would be cool yeah there's some cool ones like foolish burial there's a dark magician girl though that's kind of more of an alternate art i know zombira is a popular one because that is like the high rarity of like an ultra rare zombira the yeah, axe of despair parasite parasite yeah, there's a lot there's a lot of cool ones. Exodia, I mean 
Like that's that's real good. They did Exodia. Call of the Haunted has one. Super Rejuve, man. Tragedy has like its alternate art. Definitely a lot, a lot of cool stuff there. Maybe that'll be a Patreon video, my my lost art wish list. Oh, you have a you have a few of the Zombira ones. They've got a little more popular back in the fall when Goat was starting to see Zombiras be played more, thanks to uh, Anthony Alvarado. Yeah, delinquent duo will hit the field. Ooh, getting rid of a sand gan and a another tomato. Change of heart. What is that face down? What faith? Maybe, maybe just another tomato. find out shall we it is a faith Ooh, that's a nice faith gives back the right geck and punches in for a safe but sure 1700 it's always unfortunate when they they steal your flip monster especially a faith getting that free advantage yeah getting ready to go for game here what is this what is this he sent me bandless builder Specifically for Yu-Gi-Oh! Online 2. Ah. Oh. I just got it. 2009. Thank you. One whose name I cannot say on stream. Premature Burial, the Raigeki, and then Exile Force, Summon, bam, that's bam, bam, bam. All right, game three, let's go. It, this one's this one's for all the marbles, because again, whoever wins this will move on up to the back up to the winner's bracket. Don't forget, there is a we prize on the line. The Grand Finals. And if whoever wins the tournament, you know, if they're in the U.S., they'll win a Yada Grasu. Whoever, if they're in Europe, we'll figure it out. They'll DM, talk to them in a DM. Because <laughs> I do believe Alifia is overseas. Yes. It's no, Alifia, I think. A leaf, a leaf, whatever. Potato, potato. A Immediate... for one. Ooh. Uh, Don's a Lug. I think that might have been a, a bluff, Don. Oh, uh, Don's a Lug has a nice little yeah. niche doing it this way. Ooh, and you then summon his tomato and ram mm -hmm. into it. Yeah. Then it blocks. Good 1500 defense. Blocks an attack but... and snipes a card. But that Reaper's oh, going to snipe the... a card all the same, though, on Rados' end. And just, it's just. Ooh, that's they're... a nice punish for yeah. the Jar Greed. They are firing. They are just firing cards. They're just going fast and furious. Yeah, Jim, it's not punch, about punch, the prize. Punch. It's about the prestige. Yes, this very prestigious tournament, which I like to think is prestigious. It's just the, the first and only Janjo tournament. Oh, you believe he's German? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I, I know he's like, I, I I just know he's in Europe. Ooh. All right. Things might be slowing down a little bit. Thankfully, Reaper only has low attacks. So there's only so much you can do with it. It's vulnerable. Ooh, then there's Graceful. Yeah, like the prize is nice because it, it has more incentive for people to join the tournament. Plus, it does make, make, at least for me, the tournament feel a little more prestigious. That it's like, hey, here's this rare tournament with like a prize on the line. Ah. It's for a format. And ooh, hits ah. the fade. Youch. There's 
probably his second base gone or not. That's just the one. I guess he's just playing one. Yeah. Keep setting. Can't get into that monster. Aratos just cannot really exploit this. No. He's dealing damage, but that's it. Yeah, Vados is not getting into any of those tank cards. Oh! oh! Will this get through the thickest? This will be huge. It looks like it probably is. He, he, br Definitely he brings is. one down to the grave with him, but ow. Harpy's it's still... Feather Duster, indeed. And a oh! Time Seal! Soft Yada Lock for a turn. Finally! Oh, if that was a Yada Garasu, that would have been terrifying. Oh, and he tops oh! his jump. Will that get through? What is that face down? Will it protect Aretos? And it is a Ring of Destruction! Did he... Oh, it's no! Over. And Aredos wins the match. 2-1. did not draw Yikes. anything. That is... Yeah, Vatos just... Yeah, he just didn't draw anything at all. Yeah, that is unfortunate. That snipe of the snatch steal won the game. No It'll doubt. A AVA, Alephia 2 versus Aretos. Man, yeah, that was that was just... Awful this could luck. have been then, a match. Like when, when this he got could have that... been a match in round three. Yeah, it was so quick. Mm -hmm. Like it was so quick if fire early lose. on, and then, and then once just things started kind of getting more normalized, it was just Vados couldn't keep up with like the monsters that Aratos was able to make use of, and then that feather the duster Reaper. and then the time Oak. seal Oak. and the ring of destruction. Oak. Yeah, it just yeah. Losing the any snatch advantage. shield just lost the game. That's unfortunate. Oh, yeah, that is true, Soul. LFIA 2 has just won tournament after tournament. He's yeah. basically Yada King right yeah, he, now. He's the god of, of Yada. <laughs> Which is more exciting to see this finals match of you know two very skillful duelists. Yes. Um, and he has the advantage mm -hmm. as well. Like we because can look now, at Time to ex time to talk about how things now change. So we can it's look at double elimination. Mm -hmm. So LFIA two versus Aratos potentially has two matches. Aratos has to beat LFIA two both times to win this tournament. If he loses a single match, LFIA two will win outright. Let's be ready in one moment. Yeah, Cheshire Spirit Reaper having some fun. But yeah, if we look at the yes. uh, format library on, on Yada format, we see Al Alethea has won three of the recent format library events. He has won Drama I Lama Classic 6 with Germ Burn. Recent. Like, it's been a couple years. Well, like, he's won the past sure. two in a row. But like the ones that we have here. He, yeah, he's but, won yeah. the YGO from uh, Zero Retro Tournament 7. And even though, yeah, this was back in 2020, it's still, you know, it's still an event that he did win in Modern Yada With Gear Freed as well. Yeah, with, I with think Gear he's Freed. on Gear Freed right now. So he ha definitely has experience in the format. And even if we go back to this 2021 event, we do not have much results from that, but... Yeah, he's de de a... he's definitely proven to be a very strong duelist in this specific retro format. Oh, I've coined the title, apparently. Yada King. Yada King. Looks ah. Like okay, I'm being ridiculous now. <laughs> Yata. Happy at least that my loss from winners and losers came from the Yata King. Yeah. Just waiting. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. 
Yeah, we're just waiting on them now. Says that Rados is post. Oh, I have two A's. That's probably what my problem is. There we go. They haven't started yet. Yep, they're, they're officially about to. they're starting now. Yep. So yeah, so uh, Aratos won rock paper scissors. Yep. So a but ra- a not a great hand. Nope. So Arayos will need it's to win, fair. not one but two matches, and then Alifia just needs to win one match. Just this one. Yep. Just we'll this do. one. Basically. Or, oh, matching elf yep. with another elf. Ooh, he's not going to bonk, but he's going to snatch for an alternating quadruple attack with two cards. For a hefty, almost 4k. Ooh, you you activated my trap card. Clearing the field. Yes. Erotos will now have one card at an advantage. Yeah. But this is... Never Audrey, mind. Make, make that a plus one. Oh. Make that a plus none because IO drops straight from the back row. Straight out of the trap zone. He's going to pay to keep that active. Thus saying, I don't need that. But a TT will deny the second Gemini elf. Basically. Cannot allow pressure to be put on him. There's oh, Sangan Sangan. now. Sangan has pressure oh, on oh. its own, perhaps not in attacking, but in removal options. Chip damage. Yeah, it's just chip damage. <laughs> Yara case. King giving but out with I on orders. the field. With I on the field, it's basically good enough. There's the gear for you. I haven't seen this guy in a little bit. Try to punch yeah, over the and... Sangan. It will get through. Yes. If anyone's enjoying this stream, definitely you know drop a like, and if you want to see more tournaments, you know definitely let me know, and uh, you know keep contacting my my Discord. And he's thinking about what to add. He's got options. Gear free is kind of a tricky guy, but you know spells are off at the moment. Could see tomato. Ibajar. As the exiled, exiled force. force. The mercenary unit yeah. goes straight to hand. Not much in the way of options. Has to clear the gear free somehow. So yeah. we might see Blast of Chain here. Going for the Exile. Yeah, that does get through. The thing with Exile Force is that it does require a normal summon. That is the price for for him yeah. and he's gonna let the io lapse turning spells are now back on they are online a duo and a duster will just hose er- Ooh, Eridus. rhoda, rhoda. Was a, i guess a he didn't have a monster rhoda. i always Lou appreciate the, uh, the i always appreciate the stalled rhoda I quite enjoy it myself. And then there's ah, the duster. As expected. A dark hole and a ah. feather duster. Two very strong cards. And then Donza Lu to just say yoink on a card in the hand. And he yoinks a right ah. Oh, you hate to see it. A, a lot of strong cards immediately lost. just thrown in the garbage. Yes, and all Arias can do is set and pass. And there's a the flash of assailant. And the nobleman oh! of cross out, slashing oh! that witch to the to the next dimension, to the phantom zone. As thirty four hundred oh! discards the Jinzo, what can Aratos do? Reborn, reborn. Oh, reborn in MST. MST it's GG. not going to do it. That's not good for Aratos going down one game in the first match, possibly the only match if Alifia can win Wins the again. next game because he is coming from the winner's bracket. So flash assailant. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Stock and flash assailant Unexpected buyouts incoming. Tech card. <laughs> but actually kind of makes sense. 
Year just... Creed runs a lot of traps. So And it makes use of all the the hand rips running around in, in the format, right? Like the, the three sacred treasures, yeah. the uh, Spirit Reaper, Don Zalug, all these cards that can just rip out of the hand. I mean, possibly smoke yeah. grenade too, possibly drop off. Yeah. Though at the same time, you can't search it, so it's so not a wonder that it doesn't see much use. Yeah, but re reinforcements it. of the army can search it out. It's not a warrior. It's not a warrior? Nope. It what just means. What? That's why Zambira and Goblin Attack Force tend to be more popular with Gearfreed. That's because it. Gearfreed, we don't call it this kind of deck, but it is a warrior deck. That is it's the most warrior deck. With this, this that is the most warrior combo. looking ass fiend I've ever seen. Whatever, that's Yu Gi Oh, I guess. <laughs> still, there though, goes Fisher. So, but also keep and in mind with, with other cards too that we even mentioned, like Drop Off or Time Seal. If you got a, a Flash of Sail, that's just it's less cards you got to worry about to have in hand, too. So, Flash of Sail does oh. have plenty of benefits with it alone. <clears throat> We might have a reverse game now where Aratos just has all the yeah. answers and LFIA 2 just loses. Got rid of a Fissure and a Gear Free with that duo. He's going to Rota, Rota something. Yeah, so Zambira or Goblin Attack Force. Yeah, because last There's time I can re recall seeing anything Flash Sound was like in what, treasure format? <laughs> yes. Fun deck with reverse trap. Yeah, Zombire is going to punch over that Gemini. Zombire is still strong in this format. And then going to yeah. main two. Zombire will century. never stop being strong in the DM era. Yeah, I mean, it can't attack directly. It will always be useful. But even after one it hit, attack it, directly. it still has Gemini Elf attack, that 1900. Yes. So it's still a threat. It's still a wall in some ways. Yes. And, Duster, and Chaos Reaper, format, Serpent, Bazoo. Where you think it decline because it, Berserk Gorilla does exist and it's more consistent, though it can't beat over Spy. Zambira is a dark monster, so it fits better with Chaos typings. Mm -hmm. He sends that Reaper, which makes sense. Reaper just blocks Zambira. We really haven't seen too many spies or really gravekeepers for that matter in this tournament, which I was kind of expecting to at least see a one. One, yeah, one GK deck. Yeah, we didn't see Goat Control either. That's true, but we, we just saw a good variety of stuff. And Zambira will attack, Zambira will drop to 1700 attack, but Gemini Elf has no problems attacking directly. Yep, uh, Aratus is not in a good position right now. Whatever good. monster he sets is probably going to be cleared by that Zambira. The only good news being it's going to get weaker and weaker with each clear. Like, see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bazoo. Bazoo in this format, not terrible, but yeah, it's, cle it's clear why it's so broken in previous TCG formats, and it's just meh here. Yeah, I it does mean, does its job, just not much else. Yeah, and because it's the world, you can only banish monsters, so it's it's less powerful than before. But it can at least punch over Zombira and crash with Gemini Elf at this Way current less. moment. At least with Kaiku, banishing your opponent's monsters takes them out of the game entirely. You can still play that on some level. Mm hmm. Azu is useful, like it just did its job here, cleared a monster. And can't clear the Gemini Elf can't clear it, but at the end of the turn it's going to go back down to sixteen hundred. Yeah, but it does save you at least this turn unless they decide to crash, which Lethia might decide to do that. Potentially, yes. So might not want to if there's blastic chain. Yeah, because you can use opposing blast with chains on Gearfreed to get a free pop. But it looks like he will crash and strike directly with Iron Knight's Iron 
armor, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> End phase MST pop in the Psalm Judgment. Nice hit. That can stop anything just about. Now we yeah. just have a Massive naked card gear advantage free. now. Though yeah, but very T down. Yeah, T set's all he's gonna answer points. with. A good chance that Serpent, maybe Reaper. MST, uh, the MST. Okay. Tra uh, oh! When there's... What is this face down, though? It might be a Serp. It's a tomato. It's tomato. So that will protect him from some life point loss, but what will he con it's, converge it's that into? Because he only has... Tomato comes out. Use many monsters. Take 600. Yeah. Dig even further into the deck. Yeah, he will take that. Now that's Eratos, it, it for attacks. Despite being down right now, just has the advantage. Yeah, it's not over yet. I mean, his grave's still pretty light. Yes. He needs... Alephiad basically needs to draw a change of heart, right, Geki? Or something like that. Yeah, we know he has Duster and Serp in hand, and one unknown. Or two unknowns now, two unknown rather. Now. Basically, yeah. He's in danger of a big swing. Yeah. This... But could come back from this easily Flash... in a position yeah. to do so. This Flash Assailant's deadly because not only does it have high attack, its defense is equal too. So if he decides to just switch that thing into defense, it's not much of an issue. Nope. The Reyes does have an option. If he wants to manually use Tomato, he could crash if he wanted to. It's a, I suppose that's an option. But he's going to summon Prio Exile Force, deal with the Flash Assailant. Yes. Switch Mayor's Defense set, and pass his turn there. So, you know, one for Which one means... is fair enough. Yeah. Tomato is enough to block this. Mm -hmm. So, load into a Sangan or Witch here. Yeah, that's just better for Rados because you get... He thins out the deck, gets a free monster on field, saves you a turn. There's a new Dory. Dory. A good target for Tomato. It just destroys a monster. Definitely, uh, you know, we saw in this set, uh, Pharaonic Guardian, you know, it's a solid upgrade compared to, say, Man Eater Bug. Just one for oneing monster after monster. Ooh. Ah! There's a charity. Uh, Soul says, Serpent's a very rare gone. occurrence of an exile destroying flash. Yeah, I can't say I've ever seen that one before. And now we're going to see Serpent be discarded. And there's the Serpent. And Possibly another Duster, card. Because Duster, yes. Duster hasn't seen anything, and that's what he will decide on. So now the cards in his hands are unknown. Yeah, New Dory is, yeah, he's pretty underrated. Like, he's great with a tomato package that you could, you know, because, again, with tomato, you have a lot of options in this format, right? Don's a Lug, if you want to have... a some poking pressure. New Doria, if you want to deal with certain monsters. Sang and a Witch, if you want to search things out. And Playable and Fiends as well. Yeah. You could potentially do a, a giant germ if you're going towards that. Like, There's a lot of options you can pick from. And it's great that three Doria. of those were from Ferrana Guardian. Like the brand new set. Like the set that this Yada format is defined on. Reyes is keeping the defensive game. That gear free is definitely kind of an issue. He, Reyes does not want to lose more life points. So his current play style makes sense. Going defensive. He has the cards. But a pretty much oh. a burial. What is coming back? Flash, Elves, Lumbira, potentially other gear free, yeah. depending. Yeah, whatever's coming back is eating the Nudoria, probably. Depending on the other card in hand. He's picking Flash Assailant. <laughs> And an I.O. Oh. will come out saying, stay in the grave, sir. Yep. Uh, GM says, kind of yep. wish I had room to mess with New Doria, my main side. So hey, the, there's, there's always next time you can like m mess around with it. But yeah, that's kind of hard oh, about yeah. deck building, is that there's just so much you can, you know, so much you have to settle on, in a way. You know, you know, now, you know, not every deck I, can run New Doria. Yeah. A decision has to be made now. 
keep the I.O. or let it falter. Yeah, very yeah, disruptive with swap. Is... Yeah. Swap yeah, with Midoriya. Mm -hmm. life points are low, so it'd be risky to do so. Right now, he has an opening to get a lot of pressure in. Yeah, we don't know what that face down is. He he will pay the 700. Going for a spy. Ah. Okay. Gets another spy. We're talking about spy early. Oh, oh a Reaper. Oh, Ooh. Goodness. Ooh, baby. Getting rid of that duo. Ooh, that's a nice hit. He's, he's getting all life points, but this, this point. he has strong pressure. Spells are, are dead. Traps are still active. But a, a, a ring won't end the game, or nor magic cylinder. It will if Imperial Order's paid for. Yeah, if he pays for Imperial Order, he might be in that threshold. Yeah, it's 1,200. But there's still a lot of pressure to add on. He will send that to the grave. Possibly playing around a Mirror Force. Potentially future uh, turns to save himself. And both 1200s will get through. And then a Mirage of Nightmare and a set. Yes. Coming back in is both very similar life advantage. points. Yeah, 1900 on the Alephia and a Rados 1800. Graveyards are getting a little stacked here. Leaf is really playing on the defensive at this point. I mean, you got two cards. Dorados is six. It's a fourth right. card difference. The it's MST Mirage will, will deny Arados from draws, which is good for him, but will that last card in hand be of any use? If it's Dark Hole, it is. Saves the game. Requires a top deck. Yeah, it could be a Dark Hole. It could be a Raigeki. He could have a, a set monster on his own, right? A, it's ooh, Monster Reborn. Reborn. What does he want to bring back? Your Bazoo. Okay. I'm that actually where this is going. works. Bazoo the Soul Eater. Banished up to three monsters to gain 300 attack each. Getting him up to a, I believe, uh, 2,400 in total. Decides 25. to banish 325. Yes. Yeah, basically turning off everything now. And can clear the second Ooh. spy later. Hefty, hefty hit, yeah. Well, he would have to banish... Well, he can only banish two more during his turn, though. Yes. So he wouldn't be able to get up to max attack, but it would still be enough to hit over a spy, even with two. He only yeah, needs two. That would be the reason to do it. Never mind. But a fissure, <laughs> fissure me timbers, that'll clear that. Yes, but now has been scared off from dealing damage yeah. because of the. There might be some lag here. Probably. Oh, you didn't realize. Oh, yeah, I don't think you saw the fissure. Yeah, nope, Fisher will clear the bazoo. And it looks like he's going to play a little more defensive here just because he's at 500 life points. At low territory. Ukazi for game. Ring of destruction for game. Ooh, end phase mirror force. That is a better hit than any summons. Bam, bam, bam. And Hiberados pulled that back from the Black Lagoon going into... Game two, still a very important game because, uh, once yeah. again, if Alifio wins this, he wins the tournament. But if Aredos wins it, this goes into a bracket reset in which they will be into the uh, grand finals. Yeah, that was amazingly done. Yeah, very skillful from both both duelists for sure. Yeah, it shows the huge advantage that card advantage gives you, even over life points. Like, life points are still valuable, but 
they don't mean as much in this format as they did in like a previous format where like it was closer to 50 50 with card advantage as long as you had the life points you could still win yeah we're not seeing any like heavily gimmick decks we're seeing some spice from them but it's a it's a fairly even playing field when it comes to like the deck styles And here we go. This might be the last last game. But I guess we'll find out here. Or uh, Lefia will go first. And a first turn delinquent duo. Just words of two cards. Serpent, serpent, off serpent, the bat. serpent. First card is a no TT. Serpent. No serpent. And, and since. Serpent Duster. isn't being discarded. Yep, Duster. Doesn't have Serpent. Okay. Confirms that much. But otherwise, yeah. T -set pass. not much of an explosive turn. And uh, Pot, Pot of Greed, of greed. Uh, mitigates some of that card loss. Then a Zombiron on his end will hit the field. We'll attack over if it's a spy, it's it's gone. And it's a Don Zalug. A similar fashion to Chuck, last duel in a Rados. Tomato again. Yeah, because we saw Rados, I believe, last duel set Don Zalug himself. If I, just I really remember. good at doing that, but if you don't have to, you shouldn't. Yeah, it's really got reading the room here. Especially when we see monsters like Don Zalug and Injection Fairy Lily both have that fifteen hundred defense stat. Makes him really good in both defensive and offensive utility. Uh, the MST is hitting a trap hole. Interesting. Don't see that too terribly often. Oh. Set, oh. Set, set, set. 2K flash assailant. Jumping right in with a fiendish dagger swipe. <laughs> Instant kill. For 100. But the exiled force. Ooh, are we going to see... Possibly a solemn on an exile force mid. Nope. Pryo gets through, oh. pops the flash, assailant flash in the pan, and more like it goes to the grave. Yeah, it's the, the instant kill assassin has been disposed of. Yep. A lot of Duster is forth. gone. So LFIA 2 feels safe just setting all these cards. So a Magician of Faith can change that very quickly. Yeah, it's a little on, on the slow side, but I wonder what Reyes is thinking at, at this moment of time. His hand size is fairly light, but it's more than what Olympia has. A Call the Haunted, call of the haunted. for an Exile. Wait, okay. what? I guess he just wants to start is getting he going damage for, in. Or it may possibly be a tribute. going to drop Jinzo. Yeah, yeah drop there Jinzo. it is. There's the Android. Psychic Psycho Shockwave. Shockwave. Yeah, for 2400. So now traps are off. Goodbye, traps. But a snatch steal. Yeah. But an MST blows those robbers away. No robbery. For Olivia, but a crack in the ground. A Jinzo will go. As he passes back. But then a Gemini Elf replaces it. Thinking about this. And that goes through, and the alternate attack gets through, too. Massive, not massive advantage, but the life point. It's it's getting there. The gap is increasing. It's huge. It's kind of dark, dark hole. hole. Desperation. Black, yeah, Black Hole wipes the field as the gear freed enters the playing field. A oh. ring of destruction, saying, it, saying if you're taking it, we're taking it. This is our game. But a solemn judgment, the cold hand of God cools down the ring of destructive power, and Gearfried stays on the field. Note. Note, that is less damage taken than if ring was allowed to be taken. Yeah, you might and as, it keeps might as gear well. feet on the field as well. Like, Elifia could not allow that to stand. 
Mm-hmm. He had the judgment. Oh, there's Bazoo. Yeah, we're seeing how strong these solemn judgments have been in the Leafy's deck. It's not a card you see too terribly common in Yada format. No Pryo? Interesting. There we go. No Pryo. He has enough monsters to give it a max boost. Or potentially Should two se- two separate uses. Although really, he only needs it- to banish one if if to at least clear the, the gear freed. Yes. Like you have to be more careful with Bazoo. Yeah, possibly thinking about like a TT. Axe damage. It banishes three or twenty five hundred. Well, we have blasted chain. No, Ooh, no, that will that will eat the soul of the Iron Knight. Yeah, Leafia's play, Leafia Judgment plays are awesome to see. Oh yeah, absolutely. It always, I mean, Judgment is such a crazy card. What will Leafia do? A monster, monster reborn. Oh no. The Jinzo. Jinzo. Now, Kazu has no more monsters to banish. Yeah, he just needs to wait a turn. Yes. And hope and the traps top are off. Is not in this game. Yeah. That just It sense, doesn't. Sense, yeah. That shows how much Bazoo has changed from Android format where like you have to start banishing oh. monsters and a knock for the serpent. There's that resource gone from existence as Jinzo lasers over the baboon and passes over. It's not looking good for Raiders, but a right top deck thunderbolt. Send that Jinzo back right. to where it came from. Thunderbolt, Raigeki. Raigek. Heck, it's Raigek. Passes back to Arados. He sets. It is just ping-ponging this duel back and forth and back and forth. What will Alethia decide to do on his turn? A lot of unknowns in the back row. One unknown in hand. Oh, sun's finally coming out. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Ooh, knocks again. It's the fiber jar. No Double reset. Yeah. And then Utter a block. Gemini Elf. Ring of Destructions in the Graveyard. Yeah, so the is game, this near force? The game it state is not. stays the same. And the Night Hunter oh. won't get through. Oh! Call the Haunted in the battle phase with the Flash Assailant 2K attack. It's not game, but damn, is it close. Eratos is on his back. Yowie, wowie. All what, that's left is... What can Aratus do? He's no. set. He's used the Raigeki. This Fiber Jar. It's... Yeah, we know it's not Fiber Jar. Does he run, like, Cyber Jar? It could be a Spirit Reaper, potentially. It doesn't matter, because... A Harpy's he's Feather Duster. game anyway. Clear a bunch of bluffs, and then just say... Let's let's run the gambit. Let's play it. It is a new Doria that does oh! pro- does protect him, and it pops the assailant. Will this top deck change of heart? Top deck change of heart. Heart of change of heart of the cards, and this goes into a bracket reset. The miracle. Heart of wow. the cards. That's what a insane. miracle. Insane. What a game. Yes, Cheshire. If there's a match that shows off what Yada can be, that was it. Yeah, I I don't think I change anything on challenge. I think that keeps that stays the same, right? You do change it. I, it goes into twenty one. You just Okay. Right, Give right. Eratos the win, and it should update. Uh, okay, yeah, there we but go. I'll commentate. Duo has ripped right. out Gemini Elf and Exile Force got discarded. Yeah, painful now, choice. painful choice has come down. That was oh, now that is fitting for the Yada Lives Finals. Now we're in Grand Finals. 
sending um as we've seen pamphlet choice a very common tactic is to send hand rip cards as they're not typically cards you'd want to see late game so he also sends Confi, Forceful, Time Seal, Jargri, Yadagross, a lot of cards that he doesn't really mind just thinning out the deck for. Because the, the hand rip cards, you definitely want to see the, the treasures, the unholy trinity early on in the game. And he will add back the Yadagarasu. Yeah. Yada is safe because Aritos still doesn't know what's in the hand. Anything can happen at this so, point. So there's the risk that Aratos just has everything and the game's over. Aroda could give him I something. Know, if, for example. If Imperial's saying, nope, the, the law succeeds in this case. The revolution does not begin here. No army for you. Reinforcements are have overslept and they are not showing up to the battle. Yeah, Soul says, really showing off the top deck war in Yada. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, again, with all these power cards, you get more of these comeback ah, opportunities. Yada Grasu attempting to go for the Yada lock right away. Ooh, no. Dodge Luke. Ooh. Probably, I don't think, I don't know if Raidus runs Blast with Chain. Probably not. No, that gets it's through. Donzalu. Oh, and he gets the damage. But he will Ring of Destruction, the Donzalug. So while he does lose a change of heart right for the now. damage, yeah, he's attempting to <coughs> attack with that Yada Gross for the Yada lock. Will Yada live? Yep. And now, since he didn't concede immediately, he must have a monster. Potentially, yes. But or tomato, he's going to just if let it's, Eritos draw. Yeah, if he attacks Tomato... No, he's just going to no. let it be. He's going to destroy his go. order so he can MSC whatever this background. It is a blast with chain. The normal summons the Yada Garasu, attacks with the Yada Garasu and the tomato. What is that card Olifia has in the hand? Is this possible? Will he drag this out? Is this a Yada lock? It's a graceful charity. Surprise. That will allow Should you not to draw have cards. That Io. Should not yeah. have dropped it at all. If he kept that Io up, well, he was still, he was still have to pay the life points, which Yeah, I don't know. It's, a, it's an interesting situation. I guess he felt comfortable. Alifeo holding that, that graceful was a very smart move. He had to. Yeah, he had to. The Io was there. Yeah, but just if the he fact kept that up he the Io. Yeah, if Eritas kept up the Io. This game would have been over. Yeah, Rados could have just kept getting a... Even though he would have been losing, like, the advantage he would have gotten would have been, like, way more than it is now. Yeah, even if he did, like, it's 1,600 every turn. Eventually, he would have drawn a monster and would have yeah. been able to just win the game. Yeah, that's danger. Oh, oh, that's the last thing you want to see in a tomato garden is a big old king of the tigers. Because he, he will get rid of whatever tomato drops into. Sangan and Witch haven't been summoned yet, so oh. he might see a witch into... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's he doesn't want pass. to give Aratos Gemini L. He wants yeah. to get back. But a graceful charity may get him what he wants. All he needs to do is get rid of this King Tiger. That's really it. And, and then he can Yada Lock. Yeah. Permanent. Oh, Yadalock. exiled. So if he's dropping that, Two he must, that he must have used. a way. Oh! Exile Force for the Gemini L just for that damage. No Yada. Can't Yada. But he can't, but this sets up the Yada Lock next turn. Right, because the King Tiger. He has to draw a monster. A tomato, preferably. Or a Sangan. That's but draws into the Rota. What will that do? Zumbira, possibly? He could Zumbira sit, is he probably could, the only answer. He could sit on a Zumbira. Yeah. yeah, and that's what he will go with. Yeah. Probably has to clear that Gemini Elf. Alifia is definitely 
pushing away from this yacht lock as much as he possibly but I'm bear, of, bear of force and that ensures the yacht lock yes it was just a no win situation can oredos that gemini elf can oredos tomatoes would have just pop pop and can, then gemini would have been and yada lock would have been completed anyway can oredos pull this back it, it was looking very dangerous early on on the first match, but he is he is fighting for it. He wants this physical copy of Yada Garasu. He wants to be the winner or he just of Yada Lives. Either way, he's he's going for it. He wants they are fighting for the first winner of Yada Lives. As we enter what could possibly be if Aredos wins the last game? Yes. As things have flipped on their head. Yeah, the winner, the, the winner of the top bracket has basically lost, what, three, two in a row now in duels? Or was it three in a row? Who won game, duel two? Aredos? Um, Yes. Yes. Alephia yeah. won game one. Has... Yeah, he's lost three duels in a row now. He's in big trouble. Spy. Yeah, it's still sort of not over yet. Both duelists have the skills and the means to win. We'll have to see how Easily. they manage to get to that. So if he discarded Spy, yeah, Tomato, Witch, Duster, MST. Basically, Eretus's hand is okay, decent, which yeah. will get into something. Tomato thins through the deck and gets Sangan, Nudoria, Donzaluk, whatever he needs. And MST and Duster will just clear back row. Another set. Got the Moki Moki skins yeah. against the Wing Karibo skins. <laughs> Likely Witcher Tomato. Whichever one he needs at this time. Yeah, both are two monsters you, you prefer not to attack over, but sometimes you just got to bite the bullet. Especially with Alifia's yeah. deck, it's, it's a little more aggressive than... In, in some ways, than the Rados is, is. Yeah, a Hades would be nice, but a Gear Free doesn't play that, I think. Yeah, Alifia... Yeah, like, there's the Exile Force. Yeah, like, I'm looking at Do the deck you list... Take yeah, he's going for the exile, just saying let's just pop it. It is a tomato. Oh, it's tomato. So good, that, good, good. That like, is a win with that. It, and then the Don Zalug set again, but sneaking out from the Dark Scorpion lair to attack in. Get the stabby stab and discard an MST. On. Yeah, the set is probably yeah. Dust Tornado. Which keep in mind in this format, MST is at three copies. So unlike GOAT, yeah. it is not the only yeah, time. There but it, it does is. tornado says peekaboo ice snipe you and gets that sj Which right means, out of yeah. here that card that just got set must have been the top deck of the turn the draw of the last turn yeah like i'm looking at the decks right now and uh you know alifia's deck which very very strong very very unique of a deck whereas areos's deck you know is a little more standard looking but has a little more uh little more tools in, in, in the toolbox for different scenarios. So it's a, they're very interesting uh, methodology for their deck construction, which it, I think is making for a very exciting duel here alongside their uh, inherent skills. Yeah. We're now at a 50, 50 with the witch being cleared. And now we have no idea what's in Eretus's hand now, other than what's coming. Yeah. You got two very Azu. powerful monsters, but a bazoo with three, Injections of fuel. The great man was Ramley snipe a card and he snipes. I'm feeling bazoo. It the is bazoo. a bazoo. Now, utter mystery what's in hand and on the field. Yeah, it's it's hard once you start getting the, the, the pressure on, on field, as we see with, with the Gemini Elf, Don Zalug, or I should say double Gemini Elves, or I guess quadruple of the um you know, it, it, it really should be called Gemini Elves, not Gemini Elf, but... Uh, it's called... Oh! Gravekeeper Spy but, is not going to care yeah. what you call it. 
basically a spy. in this format you're not seeing three because yeah yeah spy Spies. is good but it's not that good yeah spy it's was... not goat format ridiculous yeah spy was about a twin of their own but it looks like the only other copy is in the graveyard it lost it to the confiscation so it's now unfortunate but the 2k deep... booty still protects you from all of this less yeah. alifia manages to find himself a, a don's or a uh Zombie with the dark at this point. 2K monsters, even this late in the game, are still good on their own. Yeah. Flash the thing is can't beat it, over it. Yeah. That's why you use Zombie or a Goblin Attack Force. Ooh, a snap oh. seal. Going going for it. Yeah, like is Gravekeeper Spy if it was a normal Dust? monster. Okay. A second dust tornado. Yeah. But yeah. Potentially. Spy, if it were, yeah. If it were a normal monster, would Sino play at all? It'd just be another Aquamador. You have Giant Soldier of Stone yeah. for that. Potentially Blast with Chain might be seen. Oh! Baby! Broccoli Rocket launches. Resetting the, the game field. We have entered the Shadow Realm with this play. Everything has been reset. We now have a new game in the game. Yep. Aredo said, I'm not only resetting the bracket, I am resetting the field. Let's go. By the way, apologies if we're annoying anyone. We're just really, really excited. Oh, if they don't like it, they can get out because I'm having a blast. I'm having a, a hoot and a holler, a rip roaring time. As Alifia rips the graceful charity. Great pull from the fiber jar, if any. Sends a Gemini. <clears throat> well, this is great for Aratus, too, because, I mean, that very oppressive field is just, it's gone. It is just poof. Thanos snapped away. Gone. Gone. Now that's what I call and, pod racing. Yeah. An opportunity to get in as well. And the gear freed was summoned la this turn, so there's no nothing LFIA can do other than yeah. that. And then a forceful sentry. He can't attack, but he can certainly pick apart and reshape both hands. Yeah, if there's nothing yeah. pertinent, he can just take out a monster. Yeah, and Alifia uses but normal summon on, on that gear free too, so he can't normal summon. He can only yeah. set back row cards. Yeah, Pod agreed. Base is a pertinent example. Like, if that wasn't Pod of Gears, like a monster, like a Gemini or something, Sentry Setting. might have been the option there instead. Yeah, and he but knows now he, he sets everything. Yeah, and he knows <laughs> he doesn't have a Dust or a Heavy unless he unless he just top decked it in hands, which feels a little safer just setting everything. But a MST will just blind snipe something, and it is a bluff knock. As a tomato will Indeed. pop out of the, the garden here, potentially sick in the landing, but a Ooh. TT will wash away the rain. Indeed it will. So now we'll, what will Alifia pull out? What did yeah, he draw? If it's a monster, know... he can put in pressure. But if not... Yeah, we know... Eratos has Fissure, so whatever monster gets summoned is short-lived. Unless it's Witch. Oh, a Rhoda. There's reinforcing the army. That will get it. Ooh, Don's ooh. Oh, he's yep. going for ripping the card out. If he gets Fissure, he has utter control of his game. Very dangerous card to rip. If he hits yeah. that. But it's one out of three. Well, then he pulls oh. out another with a Gemini Elf going back into that aggressive game plan that has been working out for him more times yeah. than not. 19, Utter 14, control. random roll of the dice. Are you feeling lucky? Well, do ya? Jinzo. Looks like he well, is. A nice rip. Not, it's a nice rip for Eratos. But now Fissure, the board has been set up so that Fissure can no longer just clear the board. Yeah, he like gets rid of the Zombira, but if he fissures, it has to the Don's Lug, and Elf can still attack yeah. for game. So oh, he, so he has to. He has force, though. Fissure. We are in 
open game state, nothing on either yes. side. So, it, you know, if Lipia top decks Yada Garasu, I mean, boy, howdy. And he does not. This is as close as you can get. Both. Because, oh, like, again, a, again, Aratus only needs to win the one. Testing, testing. Yeah. Yeah, I thought someone came in for a second oh, there. No, sounds good on my end. But yeah, okay. Aratus only needs to win the, the one. Alifia still needs to win a game to make it one to one. Call the Haunted. A call of the Haunted on Flash He's Assailant. He games. They can't go from game with this, but another Fiber oh! Jar! Oh! Ooh. This is what got Fiber Jar banned. Let's just, you know, like, one was not how enough. Many times, yeah, how many times can you resolve a Fiber Jar in like 40, 50 minutes? Just when you think it's over. The only thing for sure is that All nothing's right. for sure. It is Easter. So happy Easter, everyone who celebrates it. For those who celebrate it, <laughs> yeah, it's it's technically uh it's it's Saturday for me, so it's not quite Easter yet. Yeah, it's Easter in Australia. Oh, okay. which reminds me. Oh, are you There's in Australia? This newest channel on Discord called Masters of Oz or Goat Format Australia. Oh, interesting. I, I have some coworkers that live in Australia. They might be interested if they play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Potentially. But apparently, no summon from LFF2. No, he did have his normal summon because the only somebody did last turn was the call on the Flash Assailant. Well, the one set... Sets... Yeah, he had no monster in hand. He basically yeah. put the pressure. But Fiber Jar saves the day yet again. But the pressure is still on. Aratus, like one direct attack with a Gemini Elf, it's, it's all over. Yeah. Though not anymore. Eleven hundred gets needs through. removal and Gemini Elf now. Yeah. And Duster. A heavy back row will, in theory, be good protection, but we'll see how Alifia can answer this board. It'll insulate. Partially. There's the Gemini Elf. Yeah, there's the trap, trap hole. hole. Falls right in. Trap hole, you go. Gonna set yeah. one, set and two. And people say trap hole isn't good three. this format. Yeah, it takes takes care of it. Well, it's not as good, but yeah, there is the argument. Competent. There is the argument of running something like Bondless Trap Hole since it can avoid. Future cards like yeah. Graveyard Revivals or Bazoo. Ooh! Dust Tornado this with a Blast with Chain. Okay, that's that's out. At least that that's copy of it. Doesn't, doesn't matter. And no, nothing to uh, use it with. Yeah. Yeah, Raiders got to, has to get Alifia down enough where like Ring can potentially tie the game if it gets to that point. Ooh, oh, T T, that's a plus one. He'll take that gladly any day. Yeah. Cannot let Eretos get back in with pressure. Just cannot add the bazoo. Yeah, he bazoo does have has fuel for the bazoo. Two, two turns of fuel. End phase MSC, a time seal. Ah. Not, not bad. It's not the end of the world. That was necessary. Now, if he can... Ooh, the tiger. Ooh. The king tiger. Is it another blast with chain? Yeah, blast with chain damage step could, but a mirror, mirror force. force. Reflect tiger right back at himself. Oh, my heart is beating. This is Yada Lives. How's everyone doing? This is intense. I am hooked on a feeling here. As we enter main phase one.
and like this is what I mean. Like this format's it's it's so good. I wish more people played it. Like it's it's criminally underplayed. No Pryo with the bazoo. The Again, curse of chaos. Yeah, potentially he's waiting for that TT. No TT, but he will banish two. Basically, he's put himself yep. in ring danger. Two. Mirror but force. Then a mirror force back to back from both players. He says, I see your mirror force, and I will raise you a mirror force. What does Alifia top deck? It could be a Gemini Elf. It could be a Confiscation, taking that 1,000 life point the loss life to discard a Spirit oh! Reaper. No more protection. Yeah, but we don't, know what, another monster. we don't know what all these face down cards are. All right, Cheshire, take care. Um, this, this match will still be around. Oh, there's a Flash Yay! Assailant. It goes through with 2k attack. It punches through and Alifia takes the game. This is it. This is the last game possible. Holy guacamole. Anjo, your Can favorite I... format, please. Oh, goodness. I don't know. I'd like to make a video on this at some point. I always feel like I should hold off until I... I say finish my history series, but probably never finish that. Um, it's hard to say my favorite. I mean, right now it's Yada format, given this. But I have, I mean, there's a lot of formats I, I enjoy. I mean, I, uh, you know, Yada, Goat, Critter, Yugi Kaiba, uh, Perfect Circle, I, I enjoy. Um, I enjoy, like, even some, like, later formats, like Dino Rabbit, um, like the September 2012 formats are a, a ton of fun. Um, I, I, I'm holding off and saying like future formats that I haven't covered yet, just so I can like refresh myself in like all those details. Um, yeah, it, this is the last game possible. This is, this has this gone to, well, we I mean, I, there, there could be a tie, but draw. if one, specific person wins it. This is in the this is in the bracket reset, so it just needs one specific person to to win. Um yeah, it's hard for me to say like what my distinctly favorite format is because like there's so much that adds a lot. And they all like offer different perspectives on on the game, depending on like how you want to play the game, kind of cards you want to use. Like I really enjoy like I think Zexal error formats are a, a, a absolute blast, you know, thus far from what I've I've covered. Um in my series there's a lot of classic formats i like um i prefer ones that have kind of like limitless potential which i've you know kind of leaned towards with like yada and critter format compared to something like yugi kaiba and goat which i i fear are kind of funneling into like specific decks um so yeah, I don't think I can give like a single answer, but there's definitely like, a good chunk of, of formats I I enjoy. From like all different eras, not just even though I mostly cover DM era stuff, it's you know there's a ton of of various formats I I like from era different eras. Look at Daddy Janjo waffling. Can't decide. I can't. Yes, I. <laughs> Literally just called you Daddy Janjo. Daddy Janjo. Anyone have a this problem with that? This is that? when I just start slowly taking off my jacket and my shirt. But I'm not. <laughs> I'm wearing layers. I'm, I'm a bit warm today. I, I put on my Sunday finest with my floral jacket. I thought about wearing my, my purple zip-up hoodie for, like, Yada Garasu. But I was like, ah. Yeah. I, I I never get no wear my... idea it was sent back. Yeah, I never get to wear my blazer. They're watching here. Yeah, it's usually good to, if you're using Force Century, to like put it on field just to like confirm to, like not even like spectators, but just for the other player. Yeah, though in this, when you're streaming, showing off games, you need to be able to see the cards yourselves, know what's there. Yeah. It, it's, it's not just you on the field. Yeah, it's really nice when it, people keep in mind when something's being streamed. 
but I won't hold it against anyone. You know, it's very tense, very exciting grand finals. Uh, what's your favorite Yada deck to play, and what's the Yada deck you want to play? I'm typically prone towards like Grave Keepers. I think the Gear Free deck is is a lot of fun. Um, I would like to try out like some of the Reasoning decks. They they seem like fun. Um. What's my favorite Yada deck? I, I typically lean towards Gravekeepers, so I feel like I need to say Gravekeepers. It's the original format for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I I really like my Gravekeeper burn deck. <laughs> One of my like dumb c- c- concoctions. Um, yeah. Shows up in Edison. Yeah, shows up in, in Speed Duels. It's like Ooh. it's not a bad deck. But this sh- sh- shows a benefit of time seal. You can chain it to destruction. Yeah, time which in seal, this, jar of greed. Yeah. Which in that's this po- why these cards are played. Yeah, so, and, and like, in this over format, time, yeah, yeah, like in this over format, time, you have um, you know, you have heavy storm, uh, harpy feather duster, MST, dust tornado, uh, even yeah, blast you- with chain. There's a lot of opportunities to chain cards. Yeah, you have all this as early as Imperial format, like December 2002 into 2003. I was cooking this morning's GK Burn. Do you take a look at the uh, the deck I posted in the uh, the Yada channel um, on my Discord? Because I did post my... my uh, Ooh, that's a nice there. punish for Don Zalug. Now, Mystic Tomato will float in. Might float into yeah. a Spirit Reaper, snipe a card. Oh yeah, tomatoes. Some good options. Enable. Oh no, witch. All right. Yeah, I, but I, I, I guess he's playing the enables, safer game here. Yeah. To, tomato enables the big chief, but also punishes the big chief. It's the interaction between those two cards is just great. Yeah, there's definitely an argument for Reaper, but I could definitely see the Witch as just being a more uh, methodical option to just kind of ensure that you start seeing your cards cycle with each other. Pretty much, yeah. There's Jinzo. Yeah. Yeah, GM. Oh, I, I, I made... Witch, witch search, yes. I, I made a uh, GK burn a while back. I, I don't think I personally shared it to you was... was you blah, uh, <laughs> um, but I did. I, ma- I made an updated, ver- updated version. I played on on Thursday's stream against B Sox, um, in which I, oh, I, sh- I which... shared it recently. Which of his yeah. own that can get answers for Jinzo? Yeah. I made my own GK burn list. Played it in the the Yada locals for Yu Gi Oh from Zero. Uh, hilarious thing. The opponent I played. Went through two burn decks in a row. Funny. Oh, wow. But I settled on what's well, actually my favorite deck of this format. And it's Goat Control. I just really, really love that deck. It plays so well. Especially when you build yeah. it properly. I mean, it's, like, it's, it's really interesting, yeah, because it's, it's similar to you know, kind of like a hand control thing, and it's a, it's, it's a little bit different than GOAT formats, GOAT control, which is more of a, you know, it's more of the Thousand Eyes lockdown variation. Yeah, I or tribute, it's ironically more similar to the classic GOAT build than it is to the modern one. Mm-hmm. Like, you're playing Jinzo, Air Knight Parshat, you're playing tribute monsters to clear the Thousand Eyes you're strict with, or just tribute summoning Ooh. off of tomatoes. Or- Harpies for oh, ha- Duster. Plus, yeah, that Harpies Jinzo gets uh, Jinzo just demo- just lets Duster eat, even if it's your own cards. But yeah, like Goat Control in this format runs the Tomato Engine. You can and also go like Dark Three hole. Magician of Faith. What Correct. Just uh, three, oh, yeah, Dark Hole three. against Jinzo. Yeah, he did, yeah, yeah. Alifi is a Feather Duster. Clear the back row. Dark Hole. Gemini will bump into each other and just shatter off the face of the earth. 
Very similar yeah, game yeah, states. Arados like... is up one card. Yeah, it's a spe- it's a spell heavy deck in this format. But some traps. You're not running that many monsters. You shouldn't run that many monsters in the first place. Mm-hmm. It's risky. You could lose because you don't draw monsters. But you're relying on scapegoat to defend yourself. Thousand Eyes restrict the power cards as a whole. It's really, really good. Ooh, like, heavy. I really like it, despite certain opinions. What's he? You just have to build it right. Heavy. Ring of Destruction. Okay. Yeah, it's it's interesting because like you don't have Sukiyomi, so you have to kind of play a whole different strategy. Um, but we see this tomato. Somewhat. These two decks are just going at it. <laughs> a duo just saying goodbye. Those two. A fiber and a serpent. Ooh, that's a little unfortunate. But again, it's like one of those game states where, like, if you can get a Yada, it's and it looks like no Yada here, but a tomato will be able to attack in and a set set pass. Let's see what Lithia has. Uroda. Reinforcement of the army. Showing the strength of just finding any warrior in your deck. A very powerful card. Very surprising they made this card when they did, given uh, it's it's really more of a of a modernized card philosophy. I they wanted to differentiate warriors from other decks, like dragons. Outside of Lord of D, was designed with piercing and just mass damage and tributes in mind, basically mm. super rejuvenation. Yeah, with Warriors, Fiends it was all got about... designed with negation in mind. Hades and the big doggo. There's a new Doria. Yeah, and with Warriors, we see it's all about, you know, having, like, their armies, basically. With cards like Marauding Captain and Command Knight. Doria is going to punch yep. and take that just to get rid of it. And then attack him with the Sand Gang, which is a perfectly acceptable card in most situations. Main one set and just pass just like that. Is this a comeback? Maybe. Or oh, you, Jinzo. You do not, you do not want to misplay against Alifia. Alifia definitely has the know how. It resolved. This it is over. Resolve. No, it can't be a mirror force. And that's it. Aretos wins the match. And Yata lives. Congrats to Aretos. Yeah. Incredible I'll, game. Control decks. Control decks for everybody. Burr, 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 Grind burr, 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 out burr, 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 until you have the advantage. Two to one. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, that's that's a wild. So we're just talking a, a little bit. Yeah, absolutely intense games. There it is. Let's wait for the replay to be posted. And then you want to host Aritos? Or yeah. no? Yeah, if he's if he's open him down to host it. Either one will do. Whoever wants to join. Yeah, look at Rados. One match loss. Final replay. Final replay has been posted. Tournament report complete. Okay, you're right, messaging. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, and this was 8-1 Aretos, Leafia 3-2, Sea Spare 2-2. Basically, lost to Soul and just clawed his way back. <clears throat> Moment of the tournament is easily miracle change of heart. Win the first match. 
Yeah, off the top deck. That yes. saved the Could game as incredible. Could have lost the tournament there. But saved at the last minute. All right, you have to invite him. Okay, let's... Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Trying to remember how we do it. Like, how do I invite people again? Add friends to DM. You're already friends with the Arata, so just. You call. Yes. Uh, hello. Hey, Welcome. is this Aretos? Yes, sir. Hey, congratulations on the well-fought victory. Very exciting duels. Yeah, they were a lot of fun to play. So, how how, how are you feeling on that? <laughs> uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Like, uh, like definitely, as was mentioned in the, the game chat, like the change of heart and like a few other places. I definitely got lucky in some places, but uh, overall, I thought they were pretty good games. I uh, I enjoyed playing them. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed watching them too. Yeah, so very yeah. fun. Yeah, so like, what were your like thoughts on like getting up to that point with like dueling everyone and going to like losers brackets and just kind of like working your way up back to like face Alifia? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, cause like round one, I, I won the game and then round two, I lost to, uh, to Saul. And then that put me at the very bottom of the, uh, of the losers bracket. So it was, uh, it was definitely a long time coming. Uh, but DK zero did draw. So that, uh, draw. that helped. That was a round I didn't have to play. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a little fortunate I wasn't able to, they continue on the tournament, but I mean, there's like a, a ton of, of skill duels and stuff. Were there any moments that you're like, Oh crap, like this is it. Like I'm done for. Uh, I, I mean, yeah. Like when I, when I was getting attacked by a uh, Gemini elf and I had one draw, I was mm -hmm. pretty convinced that it was over. I had, uh, I had resigned it already. Were you thrown off by the, some of the spicier uses of like Alifia's deck? Like, the heavy use of King Tiger or Flash Assailant? Uh, no, I wouldn't say throwing off. Like, I definitely had to, like, adjust to, like, versus his deck being more of an aggressive deck. Because, like, throughout the tournament, I pretty much only played against control decks. So, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I had to, like, figure out the siding, uh, the side plan on the fly. But other than that, no. Because, like, uh, I'm pretty used to like what Gear Freed can do, so. Right. So, would would you like? What do you want to change about your deck, like moving forward? Uh, change about my deck, honestly, probably nothing. I really liked my list. I thought it was pretty solid. Uh, like maybe the side deck could use uh some like better planning, better optimization, but mm -hmm. the the forty in the main I really liked. Yeah, so what what made you decide to go uh with with your deck, which I'll put it on stream here. Let's see it. What was it? Yeah, it seems to be like a little like mix of like a little little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah, this type of just like hand control deck, I think is like the best deck in the format. Um, you know, I I got the inspiration from Jazz in an earlier tournament not to play the Dons of Lukes because mm -hmm. they get crashed with the tomato and instead use Reaper for the, the, that hand control aspect. And uh, yeah, it worked well. Like I didn't miss Dons of Luke ever. Yeah, you definitely saw some interesting things with Dons. Like we saw it crash with tomato. We saw it used with defensive uh, purposes, which we saw you uh, do a similar use with uh, your injection fairy lily. 
I think some of the interesting cards for me for this deck was um, like the Bazoo. I think definitely struck me as a little more interesting. That it's not like as common in a lot of these decks. How, how did how did like Bazoo kind of work for you? Uh, yeah, a little spicy, at least in this version of Yada. Yeah, the Bazoo is great. Like it's a uh, it's a way to out Jinzo, and it's just a an extra beater to go more aggressive when you need. Was it hard for you to sort of balance like how many monsters to banish, given that you, you do sort of run a lower monster count? Oh yeah, for sure. Like if you if you do like a big bazoo banish and then like banish three, or then or even like maybe over the course of a few turns, banish six. Like if you have to resolve a fiber jar, there's going to be like mm. no monsters in that deck. Right, yeah, that fiber jar really came in clutch a few times. We saw in that last match, in the, I believe it was uh, game one where you got it off twice. Oh yeah, for sure. Fiber jar definitely uh, lifted its weight. So what what, what do you say about some of the uh, so some of the other cards that kind of uh, point out to me was like the single jar of greed, uh, the time seal, and the main deck Nudoria. I think kind of stood out to me for like kind of interesting picks. Yeah, Nudoria I really like because it just gives a way to directly answer things off of a tomato. And, like, you saw that a few times in these last few games, like, especially good against aggro decks. Um, for the one of Jar of Greed and Time Seal, they're for the, they're for the mix-ups, partly. Like, your opponent, uh, especially if they're watching your replays, they're going to be scared to just blind space in case they hit one of those. And uh, mm. the Time Seal I especially like because of uh, the interaction with Fiber Jar, just negating their draw through the Fiber Jar resolution. Yeah, we definitely saw a lot of like the the chain opportunities you had. Definitely like seems to have helped out more times than, than not. Yeah, for sure. Like I I definitely enjoyed the one jar of greed and the one time seal. Like they never felt bad. They were never I was never upset to draw one of those cards. They were always uh pretty good. So when when talking about your side deck, I know a lot of times um it seemed to me that when you had Gravekeeper Spy you would able to get spy, but you already typically had like one in grave or weren't able to kind of fully resolve this effect. Would you ever consider running three spies or just are you sticking with like the two? Uh, see, because the thing with spies is like it's a lot of deck space and there's not a lot of cards that you want to take out for them. Mm -hmm. So the way I use spy mostly is just like when going first against more aggressive decks. If you get the if you get it in the turn one and you just set it, mm. after that it, it can be it can be a bit awkward for sure. So what were your thoughts on the side deck game against Olivia, who had a more aggressive deck? Yeah, I was bringing in the spies going first, sometimes going second. I didn't have them. I was bringing in the Zombira, the Fissure, uh, the Trap Hole, and sometimes the Dust Tornadoes. And also sometimes the heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the trap hole was definitely interesting. Uh, what made you pick regular trap hole over, let's say, bottomless trap hole? Uh, tomato. It's uh, just a more. Uh, it hits a wider variety of cards in this format, and the banish isn't particularly important. Okay. Is there a certain things that you came across during the tournament that you weren't prepared to? face against like in any capacity like whether it's with just like just in general or like with the side deck uh yeah i mean colgate had the uh the machine otk reasoning type of deck there's like basically nothing in the side here for that so i was just mm -hmm. kind of kind of going in no siding hoping it was good enough right so but next time change back there <laughs> And I do have were there uh, were there any <laughs> duels in particular that were memorable to you in this tournament? Um I mean I'd say Other than like the final, obviously. Oh well yeah, the final of course. But uh I don't know, my loss versus uh Sol was definitely uh a memorable one. Like 
because I was in such a commanding position and then just like over the course of a couple turns it just all withered away and I ended up losing that game in a very tight game three so that was definitely a memorable one for me mm-hmm So would you, like, continue using this deck in, like, future tournaments? I mean, you know, including, like, whatever change you decided to make? Or are there other decks that you would want to try out? I mean, there's a lot of things you can definitely try out in Yada if you're looking to have some fun. Um, if I'm looking to win the tournament, though, something similar to this is probably what I'll be bringing. And I assume that's why you went with this in the first place. It's kind yeah. of a more like catch all deck, nothing too terribly gimmicky. Yeah, exactly. So what would you say was like the, the, the Yeah, what would you say was like the single card that was like the most impactful for you? Uh Yada. Yada <laughs> single handedly won quite a few games. Yeah, you got a few, few Yada locks. Yeah, I think we caught yeah, like, like one or two on stream. Yeah, versus Colgate in one of the earlier rounds, like I had a I had a forceful century. I saw their hand was a scapegoat and then like four cards that don't beat Yada Garasu. Mm-hmm. And like thinking back on the previous games, like I recognized a lot of his deck just doesn't answer Yada at all. So it was uh, highly likely that he'd draw a card that can't beat the Yada, and then I would just win from it right there on turn two. Yeah, Yada is scary. Were you ever hit by a Yada lock yourself in any of the games? No, I wasn't, actually. I don't think anyone even summoned Yada against me. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little rare to see, but it's always kind of scary when you're like, oh, God, they have it. Oh, yeah, like it's a, it's a threat, and uh, a lot of cards in the format do not answer it, so you need to make sure you have one to answer it. Yeah, so were there were there any cards that you wanted to add to the deck that you're just like, hey, I don't have room in this, maybe put to the side deck, maybe you just kind of left it out? Mm, honestly, not really, no. Like, I, I used to main deck the two spies, so, you know, I, putting those into the side, it did, uh, it took some working up to get there, it took some courage, but, uh, I think without Spy in the main deck, it went fine. Okay. So, so like, what would you like to see like from this format going forward? I know it's kind of one of the lesser played formats, but as we've kind of shown throughout this whole tournament, like it's it's a ton of fun. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, I just hope to see uh, more experimentation with different strategies, more innovation, just uh, more people playing the format all around. Do you have, like, a ton of experience playing the format? Like, is it something you play, like, fairly often, or is it just kind of whenever something just kind of pops up here and there? I mean, it's more so, like, when there's a tournament, I usually join the tournament. It's not really something I uh, I go out of my way to play, though. Mm-hmm. So how would, how would you, like... I don't, I don't mean, like, ranking it, but like how would you place it compared to, like, some of, of like, other formats that you enjoy playing? Uh, I, I'd say Yada is a pretty good format overall. Like, uh, there's definitely the percentage of just non-games where your opponent just has everything or you just have everything. Mm-hmm. And, uh, those can be, those can be a downside for sure. But overall, like the games that you do actually get to play, they're a lot of fun. Yeah. It seems like the kind of game where, you know, you know, aside from those blowout games, like you mentioned that when you have both have power cards that are kind of going back and forth. It can be kind of a, a fun tennis game. And we did see that a lot with you and Alifia kind of just going back and forth on just seeing who gets what. Yeah, for sure. Like, so how are you feeling when you top deck that change of heart? Because that was, that was pretty uh, hard of the cards moment. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I was, uh, I was shocked, but like, I didn't, uh, I didn't let it fester too much, like because I knew I still had another match to play, so I was uh I was focused on that. Were you put more in a focus once Alifia won uh game one of like the first match? Where you're like, oh crap, now it's like it's real. Yeah, I mean I lost quite a few game ones throughout this tournament, so 
there was quite a few instances where I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta make sure to win this mm. game two and three, otherwise I'm out. But, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's best to just focus on the next one, I think. Yeah, so you weren't trying to let get anything to your head. You're just trying to remain like hard focused on, on just the the dueling aspect of it. Yeah, for sure. Like if you just get uh, get tilted, get salty, you keep thinking about what happened last the game. Then uh, it's going to impact your performance in the next one. So, do you have any um, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like any advice for people that would want to get into this format, or advice for people playing the format of ways to really like, you know, get better, and just just keep in mind while when playing Yada format. Yeah, I mean, if you're interested in playing Yada, my biggest advice would be. Uh you know just just keep playing like maybe one game doesn't go your way maybe they they have the delinquent duo but uh in the next one you know maybe it's a really good game maybe it's really back and forth okay so what what would be like the specific aspect that like you dislike about yada it's out of curiosity uh the aspect that i dislike would uh would probably just be like when they have the power card spam like their hand is just so cracked and then your hand is just like it's the fair cards you've got mm -hmm. tomato torrential mst gemini elf you know it, it just it feels like such an uphill battle that would be my least favorite part all right so like how often you say those games happen compared to like the you know ideal of game I mean, you'll probably see one over the course of a few matches for sure. But it does—it's not something that overly harms like the experience. Like it's still like an overall like good experience. Yeah, o overall, I wouldn't say it's something that happens like every game or every other game. So, are there any other uh, tournaments you're looking forward to, like in the future, um... or, or any other formats that you would like to play more of? Yeah, I mean, on the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! From Zero server, they're hosting uh, for Imperial format next month. So I'm looking forward to that because it's a very underexplored format. Mm -hmm. And I'm interested in seeing uh, what people do. Are there other formats that you'd like to see more people play in? Uh, any DM format. They, all, uh, they could all use more experimentation, more eyes on them. What would you say is your Great. favorite format? My favorite format of all time uh, would probably be Critter format. Yeah, Critter Crit, Crit is a really good one. I feel like if For I hosted sure. another tournament, that would that would be up there in possible formats. An option. Mm -hmm. uh, YGO from Zero says, uh, this time Relinquish shall win in Imperial, I believe. Maybe. It's possible. I do think Relinquished is a pretty strong deck in that format. Is that a deck you would consider playing? Uh, yeah, possibly. Yeah, I know there was a Relinquished deck in, in this tournament that uh, didn't particularly get very far, but it was cool to see that someone was willing to try it out. Yeah, yeah. I, I did play against that Relinquished player. Won a match, I think they just get wiped out like i looked at the deck it just some good cards some not so good cards mm -hmm. it could have been built better i'm not trying to be mocking or anything like that it just could have been built yeah. better so like when when building this deck how did you kind of decide which power cards to keep in it because there, there are so many power cards right like because if you see in the side you have stuff like prima and heavy storm you know things like that yeah i mean like the power cards that'll just auto win you the game those of course go in the deck you know the hand rips the draw cards uh things like heavy storm and premature though they can be a bit more situational they can uh you know like heavy storm can easily be played around and you've already got so many options to destroy spell and traps premature can be hit by a uh, space typhoon mm -hmm. so those those were definitely uh, like a tier below the rest. So I didn't feel the need to main deck those more. So bring them in when they're 
particularly strong against the opponent. Yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense. So like with with winning this, I guess like what's what's next on your on your plate? Is it uh that Imperial tournament or you got something like sooner coming up? Uh yeah, I think the next tournament I'll be playing in is probably the Imperial format tournament. Excellent. Excellent. Any any other questions, uh Blah? Less of a question and more show it. The what? card. What? <laughs> the card. The reason you hosted this tournament. Show it. Well, not okay. That I'm gonna buy the card. For, I'm not gonna like physically like send the cards. I'm gonna buy the card and send it to you. So. Oh, you don't have the card yet. I'm gonna order it online. Not like. Uh, would. I I can I I have a copy one and I have I have a copy I can I can go I can go get a copy. (laughs) Hold on, get some copy. Go. Show the contestant he actually won something. Sorry about that. (laughs) Okay, this is just a good way to end the stream. Like while he's gone, do you have anything you want to say? Yeah, any Uh, shout outs. No, I'd say I, I mostly summed up my thoughts. Uh, there it is. Yeah, it's like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh from Zero says in the uh, in the the stream chat. Join the server to play in the Imperial. I agree. Tournament. There it is, though it's reversed. Well, you're going to win card. this. Card. It's a, it's a, you're going it's to a, get a. <laughs> it's you're not a getting that card. copy. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting that copy, but you are getting a copy of Yadagarasu. Yes. Congratulations Come, on your victory. Coming out of my own own wallet. It's nice Yada Grassi. It's yep. it's gonna be front facing. Indeed. But yeah, thank Again, you all for uh for you know, thank you for winning and congratulations. And uh, you know, hope you see you next time I host this whatever tournament I host in the future, maybe. Don't know when that will be, but you know, sometime. <laughs> Um, and thank everyone for joining this tournament, and you, blah, uh, history by Geo for commentating. Yo, Xavier, what's what's up? Just got my butt kicked at regionals. Rip. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, this tournament went well. My first one I've ever hosted. I think it went well. I think Edison is still ongoing. Go watch that if you want to. The Edison yeah. World Championship qualifier. Yeah, a lot Other of than stuff that, still going on. Yeah, nothing really left to say. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tolerating me. <laughs> I think everyone had a blast with Chain. And with that amount, <laughs> here comes the big old Adios. pain to like pull me from. Uh, so so long, everybody.